And we say good morning to you. Welcome aboard. We're live again at Champion Chevrolet on this Thursday morning. The Tom Taylor Sports Show ready to go. Thanks for being with us. Show number 551. We're loaded for bear again on this Thursday, July the 6th. We're talking baseball. We're talking Special Olympics golf. We're talking Champion Chevrolet. We're talking NBA. We're talking UT Sports. we got a special guest going to join us who runs a uh whitewater rafting company down in uh, southern tennessee got him going to be with us today and it'll be joe nabati and so cletus green's going to be with us sales manager all these folks ready to go we're very excited about that so uh, we thank you for being with us here again on this thursday july the 6th 2017 and the countdown again to all the different races we've got 41 days to the truck race 43 days to the food city 500 Food City 300, rather, and 44 days out from the Bass Pro Shop NRA Night Race. So it is here, it is upon us, and it is not that far away, I can tell you that. So it's going to be great. We're going to be talking all about that during the show, and we always dedicate our show to the man that hung on the cross. We'll do that after this quick break. We'll do that and come right back, and we'll dedicate the show and jump in our first segment. we got lots to talk about. We'll start with Major League Baseball coming up next here. Live at Champion Chevrolet again on this Thursday. J.T. Holland will be our first guest talking about Special Olympics golf. Then we've also got Cletus Green. Carmichael joins us. Kevin Harmon joins us. Again, as we told you, our buddy from, uh, let's see, Rip Roaring Adventures, a whitewater rafting company, is going to join us. So, by phone, all that straight ahead. But baseball coming up next. Daniel Norris pitched last night from Johnson City. How did he do? Not too good. We'll tell you all about that and all Major League Baseball update news next here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show from Champion Chevrolet, show number 551 of the Tom Taylor Sports Show. This is the place, the place where you can forget all about work for a while and celebrate the good old U.S. of A. And take in the best bumper-banging, fist-waving, hero-making short track race of the year, the Bass Pro Shops NRA Night Race. And kids tickets are just $10. Be there August 19th because it ain't just another race. It's Bristol, baby. Trucks, 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 and more trucks at Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City. We have a huge selection of over 400 new Silverados to choose from with over 700 total Chevrolets in stock with savings that are bigger than our massive selection. Silverado Double and Crew Cab All-Stars, 11,000 off MSRP. Malibu LT, 20% off. 17 Colorado, 19995 17 Equinox, 21445 Don't miss out on one of the best times to buy a new Chevrolet with savings that will leave you asking. How do they do that? At Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City. At Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, they treat thousands of patients each year dealing with diabetes and its effects. Diabetes overtaking our nation and leaving a path of destruction behind. Through wound care, office visits, and preventive care, they see most of the patients after a problem arises. Using diabetic footwear, such as shoes and inserts, a great way to prevent or prolong skin breakdown and amputation. At Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, they use only custom molds from patient mold inserts, which further ensure a great recovery, or better yet, prevents a wound from happening. They use custom molded shoes, bracing, custom inserts, and extra depth diabetic shoes to prevent wounds or other skin issues from beginning. Call today, 1-800-524-4447. 39 years, six locations, one family. Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, 1-800-524-4447. Any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Over 10 to choose from. Perfect for having the gang over to watch the big game, birthday parties, church get-togethers, backyard gatherings, everything from fruit trays to garden salad trays to nuggets and chicken strip trays. And for the sweet tooth, try the cinnamon cluster or chocolate chunk cookie tray. So you see, any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A at the crossings in North Johnson City. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org.
Back live on the Tom Douglas Sports Show. Thanks for being with us. We've got JT going to join us coming up next year in just a few minutes to talk about Special Olympics and a great opportunity to help a lot of young people that need a little help. Of course, a little extra shot in the arm tomorrow in Elizabethan. Our show brought to you by a Grip Energy Drink. There you see the ball cap and, of course, on the sides, the Grip Energy Drink. And which one did you get, big guy? You took what? Pineapple. JT got a pineapple right off the table. We've got the brand new ones here, the brand spanking new. This is the sugar-free. Here we go. Sugar-free pink grapefruit and the sugar-free ultra orange. How about that? Al's going to join us tomorrow. We're going to be live at Food City on the State of Franklin. Again, there's the ultra orange sugar-free grip energy drink. They are flying out of the food cities, I can tell you that. And then here's one that you don't see often because they can't keep them in stock. Here's the white grape. I've been sipping on this myself. And so uh, these are good. They're all natural, full of vitamin B1, B12. Uh, again, uh, helps out. they got some... Uh, I guess elements, for lack of a better term, inside the drink that gives uh, helps out with the glucosamine chondroitin, helping out with your joints. Uh, also, uh, the sugar-free are only five calories and only two grams of carbs. So uh, these are all natural ingredients, full of vitamin B, biotin, niacin. Again, you got sugar-free orange, sugar-free pink grapefruit. Also, you have lemon lime, pink grapefruit, root beer, pineapple, white grape, and again, all those are the great flavors. Again, a grip. They can't keep the root beer in stock either. So. They flat wear it out, and so uh, our great sponsor makes this show go, and we'll be live at Food City tomorrow. Al's going to join us, Al Albiker, who uh, represents Grip Energy Drink. He'll be by tomorrow. Talk to us live on the show at Food City on State of Franklin in North Johnson City. Birthdays today. How about it? da 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 da, -da Batman. Of course, we lost Batman, but uh, Robin Adam War, or the Burt Ward, 72 today. Robin from the Batman and Robin TV series, 72. Former President George W. Bush. Yes, O.W., 71 today. Rocky Balboa, you know we're getting old in Rocky Balboa. Sylvester Stallone is 71 years old today. <laughs> Good grief. And a countdown to Christmas, if you care, most don't. 171 days till Christmas. Let's run down Major League Baseball last night. Who played, who did well, who did not do well. It's interleague week, of course. Toronto beat the Yankees in American League play 7-6. Cubs over Tampa Bay 7-3. Oakland beat the White Sox 7-4. It was Baltimore losing. Milwaukee shut them out 4-0. San Diego turns by Cleveland 6-2. San Francisco beat Detroit 5-4. More about that in a moment. Not a good night for Daniel Norris, unfortunately. Texas defeats Boston 8-2 in Arlington. Angels over Minnesota in Minnesota 2-1. Kansas City on the road at Seattle winning that ball game 9-6. In the National League last night, Mets and Washington rained out of the nation's capital. Pittsburgh beat Philadelphia 5-2. It was... Houston all over Atlanta 10 to 4. Miami beat the Cardinals in St. Louis 9 to 6. Cincinnati losing to Colorado. The Rockies got them 5 to 3. And the Dodgers beat Arizona 1 0 at Dodger Stadium in Chavez Ravine. Daniel Norris, how'd he do? Not good, unfortunately. Four innings, seven hits, five runs, all those earned. He walked four and struck out two. So Daniel Norris, not a good night last night. He drops to four and seven. And one has to wonder now at what point. Did the Tigers send him back down to get him fixed and get him rehabbed or get whatever because he's, what, lost three in a row now? And so, uh, unfortunately, for the young man out of Johnson City, not a good outing. Seven, I hate to report that. I don't want to be negative, but you got to be a realist. He had a bad outing. Seven hits, five runs, all of those earned, four walks and two strikeouts. Not a good night last night for Dino from Johnson City, Tennessee. Uh, we have Appalachian League baseball from last night, Danville. Bristol will get wins. Princeton and Elizabeth and rained out last night. Tonight, here's who you've got going on where you can watch it in the Tri-Cities. Greenville, the Astros hosting the Johnson City Cardinals. Elizabeth and the Elizabeth and Twins hosting Princeton. And the Kingsport, the K-Mets in Bristol to battle the Pirates. Standings right now in the Tri-Cities division. Greenville with a half-game lead over Elizabeth and a game and a half out are Johnson City. In the Eastern Division, Pulaski leads Bluefield by a game and a half. And that's a look again and Major League Baseball as far as the scores. Scheduled today, day game, one uh, in Detroit. Annabelle Sanchez takes on Johnny Cueto. Detroit hosting San Francisco, 110 first pitch. Tonight under the lights, Houston at Toronto. Boston will be in Tampa Bay. Chris Sale on the mound, 11-3 for the Red Sox, having a heck of a year. San Diego and Cleveland. Minnesota playing host to Baltimore. And Oakland will be on the road at Seattle. In the National League, day games. Miami will take on the Cardinals in Waka at 145 at Bush Stadium. Milwaukee will be in Chicago to battle the Cubbies at Wrigley Day game at 220. Cincinnati with the Colorado Day game at 310 today. 
Tonight under the lights, the Pirates at Philadelphia, Atlanta at Washington, San Diego at Cleveland, and Arizona wraps up their series in L.A. against the Dodgers. Looking ahead of the weekend, here's who's uh, switching out and some interesting series is going to crank up this weekend. Pirates will be in Chicago. San Diego at Philadelphia. The Braves will move into the nation's capital for a weekend set with the Nationals. Milwaukee and New York to battle the Yankees. The Mets in St. Louis. The White Sox in Colorado. Reds move on to open up a series in Arizona. Kansas City and the Los Angeles Dodgers, two of the hottest teams in the big leagues, will square off starting tomorrow night in Dodger Stadium. And Miami will play at San Francisco. Those are some of your weekend series coming up again starting tomorrow night. So that's a look at the baseball real quick. The standings in the American League. Boston with a four-game lead over the Yankees. Red Sox have won eight out of the last ten. American League Central. Cleveland leads Kansas City by a half game. Minnesota a game and a half back. Kansas City, the hottest team in baseball. They've won four in a row and seven out of the last ten. They'll go into, as we said, into Dodgers Stadium tomorrow night with a big series against the Dodgers, who also are a very hot baseball team. In the American League West, Houston, again, have won four in a row, eight of their last ten. Astros with the best record in baseball at 58-27. and 27. They lead the Angels, running away with the division, a 16-game lead over the Los Angeles Angels. In the National League East, Washington leads Atlanta by 9.5. The Nationals have won three in a row. In the National League Central, tight race. Milwaukee, hot team, three straight, seven out of the last ten. They lead the Cubs by 3.5. Cardinals now 5.5 back. In the National League West, as we told you, the Dodgers, a red-hot baseball team, much like Kansas City. Those two teams will get together starting tomorrow night. Dodgers have won two straight, seven out of the last ten. They lead Arizona by four and a half in the National League West. And it will be noted that San Francisco is starting to warm up. They've won seven out of their last ten, but they're still in the cellar of the NL West. So two hottest teams in baseball, the hottest team is Houston. The two hottest teams right now, the Kansas City Royals, winners of four straight, and seven of the last ten, and the Los Angeles Dodgers, the winners of two in a row, and seven of their last ten. So that's a look at some of the Major League Baseball. We've got more to report to you, and we'll do that coming up here in a few minutes. We've got the home run derby as set up, ready to go. We've got some stories. He continues to do it. Mr. Judge from the New York Yankees continues to play long ball. We'll talk more about that and more coming up here in a few minutes. But coming up next, he's here. We want to get him on the show because I know he's on his day job. He's got he's got to go back to work. And so we're going to take a break and check in with our good friend J.T. Holloman. He'll talk about a great, great golf tournament tomorrow that you can still get involved in to help out some special people. Again, some folks that need our help. That'll be the, uh, the folks, the kids, and uh, the young ladies and young men of Special Olympics, and so we'll talk all about that coming up next. Also, at the top of the hour, we will be checking in with, or actually the bottom of the hour, Cletus Green will join us, the sales manager from here at Champion Chevrolet. We gave away a car on Tuesday night, July 4th at Freedom Hall. We'll tell you who won the brand spanking new 2017 Sonic. And so also later in the show, Carmichael joins us, talking about the NBA and the free agency. Also, Kevin Harmon, UT uh, Sports Update. And also, Joe Novati, Open Senate Wright, who owns Rip Roaring Adventures, a whitewater company. He's going to check in with us. And so uh, he lives and, and owns his company down in southern Tennessee. So we'll talk to him coming up here a little bit later on the show as well. Quick break. We'll be right back. JT joins us. We're live again at Champion Chevrolet, show number 551, brought to you by Grip Energy Drink. You're watching and listening to the Tom Taylor Sports Show. At American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the eight areas of your vehicle that takes constant continuing education is the air conditioner on your vehicle. Well, you would think that AC would be a simple one, but it's getting to be uh, a lot bigger than just AC. It's it's the management of the system, not just AC, but heat and everything. It's a lot more computer controlled than it used to be. It used to be just a little button on the dash that you pushed. Now there's all kinds of electronics involved in that. Braking systems it used to be fairly simple. Now some of the newer vehicles, you have to have a computer to actually operate the braking system to make sure that it's okay after you've worked on it. Computer control in the, of the engine is becoming very important. There's a lot to that. Each one of these areas, are, the, the technology has just tripled and quadrupled in the last few years. It's hard to keep up. You really need to stay in the books and know what's going on with them. American Import and Auto Repair, Johnson City, open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best and broad-spectrum sun protection. Blue Lizard, the brand most recommended by pediatricians and dermatologists. 
Our smart bottle turns blue in the presence of UV rays, reminding you to cover up. You bring the sun, Blue Lizard brings the magic. It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call and we'll begin right away to help you. We assist you in moving the vehicle to a certified repair shop, getting you set up with rental car, and informing your agent. Then here are the staff at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. We follow the claim through to the end. It's that easy. One and done. We're your one and done location for all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, commercial, workers' comp, and bonds. We can help you with all your insurance needs. Give me a call today, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance at 247-5400, your one and done location in Kingsport, 247-5400. Hi, I'm Rob Cole with Bays Mountain Park. There's something for everyone at Bays Mountain Park. Whether you're an outdoor enthusiast or simply looking to get away and relax, Bays Mountain Park in Kingsport, Tennessee is the perfect destination. For only $4 per vehicle, enjoy 3,500 acres of breathtaking scenery, featuring 40 miles of hiking trails, wildlife habitats, one of the southeast premier planetariums, and much, much more. For more information, please visit www.baysmountain.com or call us at 423-229-9447. Bays Mountain Park, one of the Tri-City's best places for learning, leisure, and recreation. Back with the Tom Taylor Sports Show. There's where you need to go to win two tickets to Dollywood. We'll give it away two weeks from tomorrow. It's very simple. All you have to do is go to TomTaylorSports.com backslash contest. Two one-day passes. We've already got entries. Uh, Jeremiah was telling me our social media guy, Guru, from Appalachian Digital. Four states represented, Tennessee, Ohio, North Carolina, and West Virginia. So if you're in any part, uh, anywhere you're listening, if you want to try and win two tickets, why would you not? Thanks to Jeremy Livesey, who uh, gave us the tickets to give away from JeremyLivesey.com, Mortgage Investors Group. And again, it's two one-day tickets you can use any time between now and the end of the calendar year. You can go late summer, go in the fall, go during Christmas. All you got to do is go right there, TomTotoSports.com backslash contest, and away you go. And again, reminding you that uh, we don't sell off your name. You're not going to be harassed by people that are doing telemarketing. Uh, whatever you send to us, first name, last name, uh, the town you're in, and your email address it stays with us. We don't we don't pass it on. So just want you to know sometimes you get in a contest, find out later that, you know, they've taken your name and moved it on to somebody else. That's not the case. So uh, be sure to get in there and go for it. And good luck to you. We'll give it away two weeks from tomorrow. All right, let's get me off the camera. Let's get him on the camera because he's uh, he's the man, the myth, the legend. Want to get him in here. That'll be our buddy J.T. Holloman. And there he is right there. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good, sir. How are you? Oh, fantastic. I appreciate you coming and hanging out with us because, yes. of course, you see his day job. He's in uniform with the Johnson City Police Department. So uh, we appreciate the job. We don't thank you guys enough and ladies for the, the ladies and, and men in blue uh, or in black, whatever color uniform it is, whatever police department you're working for, but, and firefighters and EMS. So we don't think you guys get enough and ladies get enough credit. We appreciate what you do. Well, thank so, you very much. Yep. Yep. So and things have uh, things have changed. I don't think it used to be that way over the last couple of years, but I think since things have changed in Washington, I think the, uh, the attitudes changed in our country. So definitely, and that's definitely, me, and that's me, and that's not uh, JT or the police department. That's me saying it. But yeah. I think there's uh, the respects come back around like it should be. So yeah. did you have a good Fourth of July? We did, we did, and I uh, just wanted to echo that. Um, in light of everything that's going on, we live in a great community, it's and good. I just want to just thank the people that uh we have the opportunity to serve because um we've never really had any race issues or really any uh negative issues with police and our community is strong and there has been so much support as far as uh 
you know, supporting police, supporting fire, supporting EMS. Uh, I can't tell you how many times that I've been blessed to be going through a drive through and have somebody pay for my meal. I mean, just there's so much support, and the, the community knows that we do a good job not to ring our bells too much. But, you know, one of the biggest things why so many police officers do what they do is because they want to help people. They want to help the community that they live in and serve. And so I just want to say thank you to the people that we do get to serve. I mean, we, we do live in a good community. We're blessed that way. Can I hit that bell? Let's hit yeah. it. There we go. We always dedicate our show to the man who hung on the cross. We unashamedly do that, the Lord Jesus. And so we always give a verse of the day. Yesterday, John Hornyak did it. The pastor came by and talked and gave a little devotion. So, uh, by the way, we had over 1,700 views yesterday on the show, which is very good. We appreciate that very much. It continues to grow, and uh, we've had another a great month of growth in the month of June. So thank you for that. But I wanted JT to give the verse of the day today. It's out of the book of Psalms, and so take it away. Very good. Guy. I'm honored. Thank you. Uh, Psalm 32, 8, the verse of the day. Uh, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way thou should go. I will guide thee with mine eye, your heavenly Father. There you go. How about that? Amen. Strong, I believe it. There you go. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. So if you got the man himself, you got your fingers in his belt loops and hanging on, let him guide you. You can't go wrong. I've done it my way, and as the old song says, Frank Sinatra sings, I did it my way, and my way didn't work, I promise <laughs> you. And so now I'm doing it his way, and it's, uh, it's pretty exciting, isn't it? Amen. You never know. You never know uh, where the Holy Spirit's going to guide you. You never know what opportunities the, the Heavenly Father is going to have for you because it's... I'm here because of the, uh, that opportunity. Amen. I never knew I was going to be on this show. I never knew I'd be talking about uh, this this Special Olympics golf tournament. You know, kind of, I think I said it last time on the show, the official, unofficial spokesperson for this uh, Special Olympics charity golf tournament. But uh, that's what happens. And I tell people, I was like, you know, be careful for praying for opportunities because when they come around, you better be ready for them. Be ready so, for them. yep. yep. Heard Charles Stanley say the other day that we're here on this earth to uh, to serve Him and to glorify Amen. Him. That's what we're here for, because He hung on the cross for us. So, Amen. Good stuff. So tomorrow is, as he mentioned, the Special Olympics Golf Tournament going on at Elizabethan Golf Course, and uh, there's still time for you to play and kind of run us down some of the. I'm, I'm going to let you also talk about some of these neat stats about Special Olympics. Definitely. I didn't, didn't know about these until you brought them in last time you were here, but give us the uh, the nuts and bolts of the tournament tomorrow first. Okay. Please. So details. Um, John City Police Department slash Area 3 uh, Special Olympics Golf Tournaments tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, Friday, July 7th at the Elizabethan Golf Course. Starts at 1 p.m. Um, they call that a shotgun start. Uh, every team will start at the same time on different holes. Um, registration, you can, registration, you can register the day of. Uh, registration starts at 12 noon. Uh, tee time's at 1. Registration is at 12. And uh, also, lunch will be provided. You'll like this um, Chick fil A lunch. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> so, Chick fil A lunch go. tomorrow for all the golfers. Uh, $45 per player. Uh, if you don't have a team, um, you can just go in and play by yourself if you want to. Because uh, whether you do that or whether you show up with a team, four person team is $180. Um, all, the, all the charity, all the donations go to Special Olympics. So that's that's great, and that's that's the that's the main goal, you know, because we want to kind of echo what the Special Olympics are about, you know, empowering these special athletes, uh, encouraging them through sports. And if it wouldn't have been for sports, I'd have probably wound up in a lot more trouble than I got into when I was way. young. Uh, yeah, because I'm a huge advocate for sports, positive way um, to get out your aggression, you know, good positive anger management stuff through sports. Um, exercise this and that but um so we got that going on uh there's lots and lots of prizes i went and talked to uh lori goff and tony ward they are the masterminds behind this they planned it they're the ones that wanted to uh do something for the special olympics to raise some money uh tony he's a he's a huge he's a he loves sports golf softball basketball baseball he loves sports so what better way to get out and raise money than a golf tournament Absolutely. Um, and it's a full 18 holes, uh, captain's choice, so kind of like best ball, I think they call it. Um, mulligan package sold the day of. 
I think I told you last time, if I was to play, I'd have to buy a couple of those. <laughs> <laughs> Mine like to, I don't know, is it called a hook or a slice if it goes off? Both. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, so I do both. And uh, contact information, if you do want to sign up tomorrow, um, Tony Ward, mm-hmm. phone number is 423-791-4305. You told me before we went on the air again, we're talking, of course, JTC on the screen with the Special Olympics Golf tomorrow, the Elizabeth and Golf Course. You were telling me off air that... They're going to double what they did last year already, which is exciting yeah. news. And so there's your typical long drive, closest to the pin, hole-in-one and putting contest. Also some door prizes being given away, including two tickets to America's Night Race, as Charlie Daniels is saying on our commercial. Uh, we're 44 days away from the Bass Pro Shop NRA Night Race, so tickets to the Bristol Night Race as well. So, uh, again, the ticket, the, I know the phones I have landed on, excuse me, hopefully tomorrow to, from the uh, ticket office at the Speedway. But the uh, phones are ringing simply well, for a lot of reasons. Number one, it's Bristol. It's the night race. It sells That in of itself sells it. But the fact that Junior's in for the last time, Dale Junior racing both Friday night and Saturday night. And so uh, the tickets are, are becoming pretty tough, and they're gonna have, we're going to have a big crowd up there. So here's a chance to win tickets to the Bristol night race, door prizes. So lots of good reasons to get over there tomorrow. Prizes yeah. for first, second, and third place teams. And, again, you can walk up uh, – day of which is tomorrow and get it cranked up uh, right around 12 o'clock at the elizabethan golf course shotgun start as jt said at one and so i thought this was neat there's going to be a special olympic athlete to hit the first ball to start the tournament mm-hmm. i thought that was really cool yeah that's very cool and uh like i said um my job is as, as an sro uh and the two Lori and tony are sros as well so we work closely with these athletes i mean they're the athletes in our community are the ones that go to our schools you know they're they're the kids there and we get to see them every day we get to see what kind of effect these have and uh, i believe this gentleman that this special olympic athlete he was a student in john c schools so i mm-hmm. believe he still is so hopefully he'll be there tomorrow and that'll be that'll be something special because uh i, I did a little bit more research uh trying to get some new uh some new stuff on the Special Olympics, and uh, one of their goals, which I thought was just just awesome, is through sports um, they try to make the athletes see themselves for their abilities, not their disabilities, mm-hmm. and that's that's the big goal is because in uh, one of their mission statements is they believe in a world where there are millions of different abilities, not mm-hmm. disabilities. It's actually the positive. Take what they got because mm-hmm. each kid's different, obviously, as we That's all it. are, and take their particular ability and, and accent it through Special Olympics. So mm-hmm. now the money raised, it's area wide Special Olympics. It's mm-hmm. not just Johnson City; it's across the region. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, I think for the Special Olympics entity that covers all of the United States, it goes to them. And but the special bond that we have is the special olympics that they hold at etsu mm-hmm. those are our kids mm-hmm. we call them our kids because you know ask any teacher any administrator any staffer that works in a school you build a good rapport and relationship with those kids and they're they're your kids, they're your kids especially sure. the ones uh with the intellectual disabilities you know not to you know you know not to feel sorry for those kids because those kids are I mean, they're awesome. They're special. They're unique in their own ways, and you just you're drawn more towards them, I guess, because they're also drawn more towards you, because they like the attention and they seem to be a little bit more outgoing than your typical normal kids. Um, so, but it's it's just a special bond that we have, and you know, just to go out and support Special Olympics tomorrow during this golf tournament would be a great great opportunity. 30 plus sports with intellectual ability, disabilities rather, 30 plus sports these folks can get involved in. Offices in 169 countries. I never knew that. I'm learning things from JT. Uh, their mission is to transform lives through the joy of sport every day, everywhere. Mm-hmm. It is the world's largest sports organization for people with uh, intellectual disabilities. More than 4.7 million athletes in 169 countries, yeah. with over a million volunteers. Yeah. Pretty incredible. And of course, you always like to talk about the verse out of the book of uh, book of Acts. Tell me about that, because that ties right in to Special mm-hmm. Olympics. Oh yeah, just about giving and giving generously. Um, Acts twenty thirty five, and everything I did, I showed you that by this kind of hard work, we must help the weak. Remembering the words the Lord Jesus Himself said, "It is more blessed to give than to receive." Mm-hmm. There you go. 
them bell again. That's good stuff. So it's all coming up tomorrow at 12 o'clock, Elizabethan Golf Course. And, again, you can walk right up at 12 o'clock and say, I want to play. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're going to take you, of course, and let you get in and eat from Chick-fil-A and put yourself in the running to win some of these prizes. Okay. And also the, uh, the contest, longest drive, closest to the pin, hole-in-one, putting contest. Which one of those are you the best at? Long uh, drive guy, closest to the pin, hole-in-one, yeah, or putting? Uh, I was always a long drive guy because I just, you know, I've – I always loved just going up there and just trying to hit it as hard as I could. And uh, But I used to play, uh, my grandfather uh, and my two cousins played in a golf tournament back home um, from the Wilkes County School Board Association. Um, they held a golf tournament at one of the local golf courses, and they had all those, you know, close to the pin, hole-in-one, long drive. And my papa would always get, like, the best ball, tee it up just right, and have me use one of his friend's high-end tailor-made golf drivers. And I'd go up there, and I'd just, whack the fire yeah, out. whack the fire out of it. And I just I just loved hitting it. So Still do. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it's switched from golf to more softball nowadays. So, but yeah, I just go up there and I hit as hard as I can. You like the hammer and softball too, right? <laughs> yeah, we actually played. Uh, we were on vacation last week, and my brother-in-law lives in Knoxville, Clay, mm-hmm. and uh, he he was building uh, my brother and I, or my brother-in-law and I up. Uh, said that he had a couple of ringers coming up that were going to play with us, and I was like, man, don't don't talk too highly <laughs> of us. I said I haven't played in a couple of years, and my br- brother-in-law he hadn't played in about five years, but. It was, uh, I say it's by the grace of God, because my brother got up there in front of me, hit a home run. I got up right behind him, hit a home run. <laughs> I was like, that's it. That's it. You talking about out of uh, the park home runs? Yeah, oh yeah. Not inside the park, you mean you jacked it. No, I, I don't run fast anymore, <laughs> so it has to be out of the park home run. <laughs> you can't yeah. outrun them, you got to drive it that's over the it. wall. That's it, that's it. I don't doubt it a bit, so good stuff. And I uh, appreciate again you coming by here. By the way, he uh, was gracious enough to make a, uh, a whole a whole sponsor sign, and he put it up, and uh, it's going to be there tomorrow. And, and you know, I was blown away by that, and still am, and I appreciate him doing that. So, if you're playing it tomorrow, one of the holes will have a sign about the show on it. Uh, compliments of, of JT, and I appreciate that very much. Good guy, and you know that's very humbling. But thank you for doing that. Yeah. And uh, he's a good guy. We're going to have him on more often. I don't know what's coming up next, but you will find something else to come talk about. I'm sure the Lord will provide, like they say, yes. you know. Yes. If if God is for us, who can be against there us? There you go. There you That's go. Right. Good stuff. Like you said, you know, what? Uh, show number 551? 551. They said yeah. it couldn't be done, but you're proving them wrong. Mm-hmm. So. Still get it. Still get people telling me, well, it'll fizzle out. Well, uh, it's not fizzling out. In fact, we... I can go ahead and tell you, we've got notice. We're going to be taking the show out of state later wow. on this month. We're going to be going to uh, going up and doing some shows in West Virginia. So that's, that's a cool. blessing. Oh yeah. Yep. So and maybe in Cincinnati. So the show may be taking wings and heading out on the road like Willie. But uh, yeah, five fifty one and growing. So there we go. And, and you're right. They said it wasn't going to work. They said a, a sports show on Facebook, no radios. Yeah. Yeah. yeah here we are. That's so, it. Well, so. the good Lord told us that. If we follow him and put him first, oh, yeah. people are going to come after us. That's exactly right. That's yes. why there's strong men like you and I that are willing to take that burden on. Yep. Because I'm ready. I just, you know, I get fired up. It's probably because of this grip. <laughs> 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 if you got some grip in the Holy Spirit, you don't you don't know where the show might go. But you got it. Um, yeah, I mean, just 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 bring them on. They I think in some places around here they call them haters. Mm. You know, let the haters hate. But hey, we serve a mighty God. We serve a merciful and gracious Savior, and I say bring it on. Charles Stanley said uh, on one of his sermons not too long ago, there are no panic buttons in heaven. There are no surprises what's going on down there. There's nothing going on ever that will take him by surprise because he runs the show. He knows exactly what's going on, Man. both in the world as a whole and in each individual life. He knows what's happening, so good stuff. Man. I know you're going to get back to work. Yes, so sir. I appreciate you very much. Will you be there tomorrow? Uh, I'm gonna try to stop by. I'm I'm working tomorrow, and yeah. you know the golf court, the golf uh, tournament is in Elizabeth, and so maybe I can sneak uh, sneak over there. But uh, yeah, Lori and Tony will be out there full force. Uh, as anybody knows, running events is pretty chaotic, mm-hmm. but hey, you know it's they're gonna take care of it. They are they are awesome people. Uh, have a, just a huge heart mm-hmm. for this kind of stuff, um, so they're gonna do a great job. 
just uh, anybody out there listening, just uh, say a prayer for tomorrow. Pray everything goes smooth. Uh, pray the weather holds off. And uh, that was one thing I talked to Lori today. She said, rain or shine, they're going to have it. The show's going to go on. Rain or shine, the show's going to go on. Matthew twenty five forty says, as you've done to the least of these, my brethren, you've done unto me. So when you're helping these kids, Special Olympics, by playing golf, because you're going to benefit, because you're going to go out and play golf, eat Chick-fil-A food, maybe win some door prizes, have a big time tomorrow, starting at noon at Elizabeth and Golf Course. But while you're doing that and having fun, you're helping these kids by raising money for Special Olympics. It's if, as the book says, you're helping the good Lord himself. That's right. So that's just the way it is. So that ain't me. That's out of the book, out of the rule book. Talk to you soon. Yes, sir. Give me some taters. Hey, thank you again. Love Appreciate it. And his wife, she does a wonderful job. You'll be hearing from her soon mm -hmm. because she is with Speedway Children's Charities. Or you've seen her and heard her here on the show before, Miss Betsy. That would be his better half. And so uh, <laughs> she's due to start coming on yeah. here pretty soon because they got all kinds of stuff going on. With Speedway Children's Charities, again, out helping raise money for kids. And that money stays here in the region. And as Claudia says, the uh, theme for Speedway Children's Charities is a good one. It's all about the kids. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we're doing what we do and, and help out when we can with events like this, with JT and, and Special Olympics. I'll talk to you soon. Big yes, guy. sir. Thank yeah. you very much. Quick break. We'll be right back. We've got more baseball to talk about here live at Champion Chevrolet. And Cletus Green's in the house. He's due to join us coming up here in just a few minutes. We're live here at Champion Chevrolet. Show number 551 brought to you by Grip Energy Drink. You're watching, listening to the Tom Taylor Sports Show. This is the place. The place where you can forget all about work for a while celebrate the good old U.S. of A. And take in the best bumper-banging, fist-waving, hero-making short track race of the year. The Bass Pro Shops NRA Night Race. And kids tickets are just $10. Be there August 19th because it ain't just another race. It's Bristol, baby. Trucks, 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 and more trucks at Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City. We have a huge selection of over 400 new Silverados to choose from, with over 700 total Chevrolets in stock, with savings that are bigger than our massive selection. Silverado Double and Crew Cab All-Stars, 11,000 off MSRP. Malibu LT, 20% off. 17 Colorado, 19,995. 17 Equinox, 21,445. Don't miss out on one of the best times to buy a new Chevrolet with savings that will leave you asking. How do they do that? At Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City. At American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the eight areas of your vehicle that takes constant continuing education is the air conditioner on your vehicle. Well, you would think that AC would be a simple one, but it's getting to be uh, a lot bigger than just AC. It's, it's the management of the system, not just AC, but heat and everything. It's a lot more computer controlled than it used to be. It used to be just a little button on the dash that you pushed. Now there's all kinds of electronics involved in that. Braking systems it used to be fairly simple. Now, some of the newer vehicles, you have to have a computer to actually operate the braking system to make sure that it's okay after you've worked on it. Computer control in, of the engine is becoming very important. There's a lot to that. Each one of these areas, are, the technology has just tripled and quadrupled in the last few years. It's hard to keep up. You really need to stay in the books and know what's going on with them. American Import and Auto Repair, Johnson City, open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. From the driveways where your kids play basketball and ride their bicycles to the parking lots at your local church or grocery store, Bracken Paving is an important part of many neighborhoods in our area. No matter how large or how small the job, Bracken strives for excellence in every service they provide. It's a foundation for a strong community. Discover the difference at Bracken Paving and Asphalt Maintenance. Give us a call or visit us online at brackenpaving.com. Your life is always changing. You never know what shape it will take or how your financial needs might change. But if we talk about your investments and how they can provide for you and your family, the future becomes clear. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we believe conversation leads to financial clarity. Let's start a conversation today.
Back at the Tom Taylor Sports Show, good man right there, J.T. Holloman. That's class act. He and his lovely bride and his kids, they do a good job. We appreciate him very much. We're live here again. We are on the trail. We are a champion Chevrolet. Again, Dollywood, there you go. Enter to win the contest, TomTaylorSports.com backslash contest. Again, thanks to Jeremy Livesey, JeremyLivesey.com, Mortgage Investors Group. He said, I want to give away a couple of tickets on your show. These are over $100 a piece, and so a good deal. These are one-day passes, and these will be good again. Uh, for any day, Dollywood's open between now and the end of the calendar year. So, uh, good stuff, I'm telling you. And we appreciate him very, very much allowing us to uh, give these away. And, and uh, again, thank you to our buddy Jeremy Livesey so very much. And uh, it's good stuff. We're back here live on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. TomTaylorSports.com backslash contest. Again, if you get a chance to sign up, please do so. Why would you not? It's absolutely free. And I know the Rotenberries have done it over in. Uh, over in Kingsport, they're in, and gosh, we've got them from Lenore, West Virginia, from St. Albans, West Virginia. We've got them from Spruce Pine, North Carolina, Bluff City, Elizabethan, and it continues to grow. So, again, when we give away the tickets for Thunder Valley Nationals, we had over 11 states represented, so we're very appreciative of that. We're not bragging about it. We're just very, quite, quite frankly, I'm very humbled by it. So, anyway, thank you again for what you do and, what, uh, and how you're involved in this show, engaged, if you will into the show. How about some more baseball news? There's Cletus. You rolling? You ready? Give, this gives me a, he gave me a five minute. He'll be here in five minutes to talk about Champion Chevrolet. And we got a winner of that Sonic LS to give away Tuesday at Freedom Hall. We'll let I won't steal Cletus' thunder. Let him tell you who that was. Somebody's a happy camper to say the least as a result of winning that car again at Freedom Hall during the fireworks uh, display and the fireworks celebration again with Pepsi and Champion Chevrolet at Freedom Hall on Tuesday. John Gray, the long-haired Rockies pitcher who enjoys doing all kinds of cool things in his spare time, hit the longest home run of the season at Coors Field last night. Now think about this. This is a pitcher who steps up John Gray and hammers a 467-foot home run. John Gray, the longest home run of the season at Coors Field. Even had a little flare with that Sammy Sosa-like hop after he made contact. He knew it was gone. Of course, he hit it off the Reds, which is no surprise. Uh, Scott Feldman. So, uh, anyway, Feldman got his revenge about a half inning later when he broke up Gray's on his way to a no-hit bid, and they broke up the no-hitter. But, again, John Gray, how about that? John Gray, as we said, goes deep, a 467-foot home run, the longest of the season. He has a pitcher for the Colorado Rockies. Speaking of long balls, he did it again last night. Aaron Judge, the Yankees' single-season rookie home run record, Hit number 29 actually yesterday afternoon for the Yankees. He now has 29. He's tied with the legendary and the late Joe DiMaggio, which is incredible. Judge ties the record set by Hall of Famer Joe DiMaggio back in 1936. And so the most home runs by a rookie, he is now tied. The next one puts him, of course, all by himself. So uh, he's going to shatter the record by DiMaggio. Mark McGuire's record for home runs by a rookie is 49. Back in 1987, and so one more home run, he passes DiMaggio and sets his sights on uh, Mark McGuire's home run record by a rookie, 49, back in 1987. So this guy is the deal. He is going to be in the home run hitting contest next week as part of the All-Star game and All-Star festivities down in Miami. So Aaron Judge should be the top seed based on last year's seeding method. Why would he not? This guy has 29 home runs. He leads the majors. He just tied Joe DiMaggio for the all-time uh, home runs by a rookie by a New York Yankee, so why would he not be? But we'll see. Other uh, other news happening in Major League Baseball, the Cardinals have interest in Blue Jays third baseman Josh Donaldson. Two teams have no, no formal trade talks. Pretty good indication St. Louis will go for it at the trade deadline, and so uh, we'll see if they go after Josh Donaldson. There is interest for sure from the Cardinals for the Blue Jays third baseman. Uh, let's see, Major League Baseball... Matt Holliday hopes to return to the lineup Friday. He holds, uh, again, he's been out since June 24th with a viral infection, hitting 262, 15 home runs so far this season for the Yankees. He hopes to be back. Also, uh, Cubs right-hand pitcher Kyle Hendricks could be ready to begin a minor league rehab assignment next week. He's been out since June 4th with a hand issue. Kyle Hendricks is 4-3 and three through 11 starts in 2017. So uh, that's some of the news happening in Big League Baseball. Again, some of the guys involved. We'll have Carmichael talk more about this at the top of the hour and give his take on the home run derby. Giancarlo Santon, Stanton rather, uh, is going to be in there. Gary Sanchez, uh, Charlie Blackman, Cody Bellinger from the Yankees, Aaron Judge. Some of the guys are going to be in the home run 
Derby contest next week in Atlanta. I'm not Atlanta, in Miami. So uh, that's going on there with, with Major League Baseball. And again, we'll talk more about that with Carmichael coming up again a little bit later on in the show here live at Champion Chevrolet. In your schedule for today, one more time, day games. San Francisco takes on uh, Detroit in Detroit. Johnny Cueto for the Giants. Annabelle San- Annabelle Sanchez will go for Detroit. Under the lights tonight, Houston at Toronto. Boston, Chris Stelman Mount at 11-3. and three. Red Sox in Tampa Bay to battle the Devil Rays. San Diego at Cleveland. Baltimore at Minnesota. And Oakland at Seattle. Again, in the American League. In the National League, you have Miami at St. Louis. Day game. Day game, the Cubs hosting Milwaukee. Day game, Cincinnati at Colorado. Under the lights tonight, Pittsburgh at Philadelphia. The Braves in Washington. San Diego will be at Cleveland. And Arizona takes on the Los Angeles Dodgers again tomorrow night. Big series starting in Los Angeles, Dodger Stadium. The Dodgers at Dodger Stadium. Chavez Ravine hosting the Kansas City Royals. Two of the hottest teams in Major League Baseball. Going to square off tomorrow night. Beginning a four-game set happening, as we said. That will be going on in uh, in Los Angeles at Dodger Stadium. Something cool starting at your local Food City. We'll be at Food City tomorrow broadcasting live. And a uh, cool thing happening starting actually today. I'm sorry, started yesterday. It runs through August the 1st. So let me go ahead and put so I don't keep saying July 5th. Now, Tom says, through August the 1st, fundraising campaign to help out the Paralyzed Veterans of America. Great thing to do. Again, it's with Richard Petty, Food City, and NASCAR champion and NASCAR Hall of Fame inductee Richard Petty teaming up with Food City to help out the Paralyzed Veterans of America and also the RTIC Coolers. You say call it Arctic Coolers? I guess it's Arctic. Arctic Coolers teaming up to help veterans. And so uh, when you shop at your local Food City now through August the 1st, there will be $1, 3 and $5 donation slips available at checkout. Customers wishing to make a contribution simply need to select the desired dollar amount or add it to the order of your shopping experience. This year's new partner, RT Coolers, joins the team with a pledge of $25,000 right out of the chute to launch the campaign with a healthy start. Again, uh, over the years, let's see, Steve Smith says, thanks to the support and generosity of our loyal customers, in the past six years, we've raised more than $800,000 to benefit paralyzed veterans in this country. Awesome. That is awesome. 100% of the donations collected during this one month one month campaign rather will benefit paralyzed veterans of America's mission called the ABLE ABLE campaign which is dedicated to create an America where our most severely injured heroes have access to what they have earned and deserved care jobs and benefits so awesome stuff 134 retail outlets throughout four states again food city so it started yesterday goes through August the 1st when you shop at food city at a dollar three dollars or five dollars to your shopping experience and all that goes into helping out paralyzed veterans of America. So now, between now and August the 1st, if everybody that goes in and shops at Food City, every time you go in, just adds a buck, one dollar to your shopping experience. Obviously, we like to have three or five, but even just a dollar. It would be amazing what kind of money can be raised in a short amount of time. And Artie Coolers have already cranked out a $25,000 pledge to get it all started. So Artie Coolers, by the way, is a... Consumer retailer of premium roto molded coolers, whatever that is, soft sided coolers, and stainless steel drinkware. So, Arctic is able to offer top quality coolers and drinkware at half the price of their competition. So, uh, we'll be, and they're based out of Houston, Texas, so that means it's American made. And so, we'll be at Food City tomorrow in the state of Franklin, and Derek will have more to say about that. But again, we're helping paralyzed veterans of America. Can't do it enough, folks. They've earned, they've served us. They've honored us with their service. They've got injured because they've represented our country and served our country, so we need to help them out. And so we have been, and we're going to continue to do that. So when you shop at your local food city between now and August the 1st, $1, $3, $5 add-on to your uh, shopping experience goes to help these folks out. And we'll thank you ahead of time for that. Quick break. We'll be right back. He's here. NBA, Major League Baseball. The man is here. Carmichael's in the house. Got a big uh, classic rock band tonight right up the street at Wing Deer Park, and we got all that to find out from our dear friend Carmichael next year on show number 551. On the day we celebrate the birthday of W. George W. Bush, 71, and Rocky Balboa, Sylvester Stallone, 71 years old today. We'll be right back with more right after this from Champion Chevrolet on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City takes care of both male and female customers, but Owner Kim Smith says they have a special care and concern for ladies. 
Being a female in what's considered a man's business, I understand the trepidation that women may have when they come to the shop. They feel like they don't know about cars, they might be intimidated, but that's not the way we do business. Everybody's treated the same. We take the time to explain anything that they have questions about, the repair, the process, the parts. We want to make sure people are comfortable with what we're going to do to their vehicle and that they understand. We do cater to women in a sense. We have a real nice waiting room with nice Keurig coffee and flavored creamers, air-conditioned, cushioned seats, TV, everything a girl could want while she waits for her car to be fixed. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. At Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, they treat thousands of patients each year dealing with diabetes and its effects. Diabetes overtaking our nation and leaving a path of destruction behind. Through wound care, office visits, and preventive care, they see most of the patients after a problem arises. Using diabetic footwear, such as shoes and inserts, a great way to prevent or prolong skin breakdown and amputation. At Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, they use only custom molds from patient mold inserts, which further ensure a great recovery, or better yet, prevents a wound from happening. They use custom molded shoes, bracing, custom inserts, and extra depth diabetic shoes to prevent wounds or other skin issues from beginning. Call today, 1-800-524-4447. 39 years, six locations, one family. Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, 1-800-524-4447. If you're catching some waves or just playing in the yard, it is important to protect yourself. You may not feel the sun's heat, but UV rays can still damage your skin even in cloudy weather. Blue Lizard Sunscreen, recommended by pharmacists and dermatologists nationwide. Our SPF 30 plus formulations use only the highest quality ingredients for broad spectrum protection. As a reminder to protect yourself, our bottle turns blue when UV light is present. Blue Lizard. We've got you covered. From the driveways where your kids play basketball and ride their bicycles to the parking lots at your local church or grocery store, Bracken Paving is an important part of many neighborhoods in our area. No matter how large or how small the job, Bracken strives for excellence in every service they provide. It's a foundation for a strong community. Discover the difference at Bracken Paving and Asphalt Maintenance. Give us a call or visit us online at brackenpaving.com. Sports Show. There you are. Be sure and get on there. You have four states represented already. We appreciate that. The list continues to grow. TomTaylorSports.com backslash contest. We'll give it away two weeks from tomorrow. Two one-day passes to Dollywood. Again, you can use them anytime between now and the end of the calendar year. Go at Christmas time. Go during the fall. Go late summer. Go whenever. But again, thanks to Jeremy Livesey at JeremyLivesey.com and Mortgage Investors Group. He said, I want to give away a couple of tickets on your show. Thank you again for that. So, uh, that's what you need to do, and there's no purchase necessary. We do not put your name out on any list. We, I mean, once the contest is over, we shred it, throw it away, so don't think we're going to sell it off and let somebody uh, you know, somebody else get a hold of it because that's not going to be the case at all. So there you go. We're back live here at Champion Chevrolet. Again, we're here again on a beautiful, beautiful Thursday. Again, a couple of birthdays. We've got Carmichael going to join us coming up here in just a second. First of all, the countdown to Christmas, if you care, and most don't. 171 days to Christmas. It's really hard to believe. Batman and Robin. Robin having a birthday today. We lost Batman Adam West last month. Burt Ward, 72 today. Robin is 72. We're getting old. <laughs> Former President W. George W. Bush, 71. And Rocky Balboa. Sylvester Stallone with a birthday today. 71 candles on his birthday cake today. And Rocky Balboa continues to uh, crank out the movies, I think. Uh, this guy right here is a movie aficionado. Again, my man, look at him in the house. Carmichael, John C. Parks, Rick. Good afternoon, sir. How you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah, well, Rocky, he won 
the uh, some awards last year for the uh, movie Apollo Creed, where he was a sporting actor in that and had a hand in you know the production and everything of that of that movie. It was a really good. It was probably better than the last two or three Rocky movies, actually. The one I liked. Okay, he came out of retirement. His kid tried to keep him from doing it. Uh, I guess it was gone. I guess it's called Rocky Balboa. I mean, it was, uh, uh, oh gosh, what was his name? It was the, uh, it was a young champ. And Rocky came out of retirement to fight him, and his Rocky son tried to talk him out of it. I think it's called Rocky Balboa. That, that to me is one of my favorites. Uh, but, gosh, what's? The, I like the first three. First I went, I mean, the first, the first one, of course, is the classic. Yeah. I mean, th- that is one of the great underdog stories in, in movie history. I mean, he was able to get, you know, he wanted not only he wrote the script. He not only then wanted to have the, you know, a lot of people were interested in the script, but they wanted someone else to be the star. Mm. And he was like, he didn't want to give up. That was his baby, and he didn't want to give the project up. So, yeah, there was, there was, the script went around Hollywood, and a lot of people were interested in it, but they didn't, you know, they didn't think much of him as a star and so as an actor. So he wanted, you know, he was, this was going to be his baby all the way through. And sure enough, it was a success with the Oscars. Uh, Rocky Two was a great movie. Rocky Three, of course, that was started the explosion of Hulk Hogan across the United States. So, you know, those three to me were. Uh, after that, it was like, okay, you were. He was kind of doing it then for the, for the check, for the jingle. Yeah. And, and as long as you, you know, that's okay. Hey, America's a great country. It's free enterprise. Do what you want. Do whatever you can to ma- legally make a dollar. So how I like it amen brother yes it, if it's moral yeah. and ethical and legal it. yes and legal do it do it i agree with you 100 percent carmichael's in the house again for the john city parks and rec we've got a uh, let's start with what you got cracking up tonight at wing deer park the model city wrecking crew we've got it. the model city wrecking crew not to be confused with the minnesota wrecking crew the great tag team of Ole and gene anderson back in the 70s and 80s across the, <laughs> the mid-atlantic and georgia area but the model city wrecking crew tonight seven to nine at the like at the amphitheater, the Goulding Amphitheater, uh, they play a lot of 70s music, Doobie Brothers, mm-hmm. Boss Gags, mm-hmm. Steely Dan, Atlanta Rhythm Section, yeah, so uh, you name you name it, anybody from that 70, 74, 75 to like 80, 81 uh, rock era, they're going to play a lot of it tonight from 7 to 9. It's free to the public and should be a great time tonight. Weather looks like hopefully we'll hold off, not have that... Look like Wizard of Oz tornadoes. I was leaving Wing Deer <laughs> last night. I was trying to get on the interstate and I looked behind me and I thought, okay, Toto, we got to get out of Kansas. We're getting out of Kansas quick. I was in the middle of that going down the interstate yesterday, too, and it was pretty uh, pretty intense. A lot of rain in a short period of time, which we need, obviously. So, But the wind, the wind and just the nasty look of that thing. So I'm hoping tonight, I think the weather's going to be a lot nicer, a lot better. It'll be a great time to come out come out and enjoy some great music this evening model city wrecking crew tonight seven o'clock free concert the 70s all right top three doobie brothers songs out of the 70s uh china grove uh blackwater blackwater and listen to the music the music all right yeah atlanta rhythm section so into you uh champagne don't, jam yeah and d- uh, don't want them uh, follow me tonight or whatever that was i can can't won't let it bother me tonight don't let it bother me tonight i remember seeing they played back in the Back in the '80s, kind of after their peak, they played here in Johnson City at uh, at what used to be Joe Kelly's. It was it's a place if you're familiar with Johnson City. It's about where the uh, near where the uh, 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 oh gosh the little yeah. place on Rhone Street that's a restaurant that's uh, which that's everything right. on Rose. No, no, no. Up on across from the mall. Uh, uh, Applebee's. Applebee's near a little above Applebee's, right in that area there. They played out there. They played out there, right, kind of after their prime. But they were here for a uh, St. Patrick's Day bash there. So that's some of the music tonight. Model City Wrecking Crew, seven to nine o'clock, free again at the Amphitheater right up the road here, Wing Deer Park. Maybe there, check it out myself. They're gonna crank out a little Doobie Brothers and some Atlanta Rhythm Section, a little Boss Gags, a little Low Down, and uh, uh, Silk Degrees, and that's some good stuff. Seven to nine, free concert tonight. Again, at the amphitheater, and so uh, it's all part of under the umbrella of John City Parks and Rec. NBA, we're going to talk NBA, we're going to talk Major League Baseball, and we even have the WWE coming up this weekend, the Great Balls of Fire, uh, the event coming up on Sunday. So I don't know anything about this, but this guy does. But let's start with the NBA free agency. 
It's been busy since you were here last Thursday. What's going on? Who, who's benefited uh, from free agency right now? Well, you've got to think Boston with signed Gordon Hayworth. That was a big that was a big deal for them. Oklahoma City made the big splash, trading for Paul George, trading Victor Oladipo and uh, Sabonis for Paul George, basically giving up, getting a one-year rental on him. I mean, I don't think he's going to re-sign with Oklahoma City, but it was a, something to prove to Russell Westbrook, hey, we're making an effort to compete with the big with the big clubs in the West. So that that's a great that's a great trade for them. Didn't get up, give up a whole lot. They realize if you know they lose George next year. Maybe they lose Westbrook because Westbrook can be a free agent in 2018. And both of them are L.A. guys. It wouldn't surprise me if the, if they had both ended up back up in L.A. eventually. But a great move for them. Uh, you've got to look at, at uh, Golden State able to keep uh, Andre Iguodala, who is a key core member of their team, uh, picking up some bench players along the way, Shaggy P, Nick Young, and uh, Kasseri from uh, Ola Kasseri from Sacramento, so picked up some pieces there. But the Hay- the Hayward move was a big thing. Atlanta losing Paul Millsap. That's I think Atlanta's almost getting ready for a rebuild type mode. Their sales with that club. Uh, Memphis. That's a rumor that was going last night. Boston was is interested in Marcus Sal, and Memphis is looking after losing Zach, Zach Randolph to Sacramento. Memphis now may be looking, which I thought they should have done it last year when the Conley contract came up, but Memphis is possibly looking at just tearing the thing down and rebuilding. Who's making all the moves in Boston? Danny Ainge? Danny Ainge. Former Celtic and one of the pride of the great Celtic teams of the day. Bird stepped away from the Pacers. Is he just out? He's out. He's he's pretty much out. He's out. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Pritchard, who who was – Came played Kansas when he was in college, and his son played. I believe his son was on uh, Gonzaga this year. Played for the Final Four. Uh, is the guy running the show in in Indiana now? Talking to Carmichael, obviously on the screen with the John City Parks and Rec tomorrow. We'll be at Food City State of Franklin again on a Food City Friday uh, here in Johnson City. Next week we're all over the place. We got shows coming up at Freddy's. We're picked up Freddy's. Going to start broadcasting live from Freddy's uh, restaurant here in Johnson City. Uh, also, I think Freddy's in Kingsport as well. So we're going to be all over the place, and I don't even know my schedule next week. I know we'll be here next Thursday. Next Friday, we're going to be at uh, Food City on Euclid Avenue in Bristol. So we're all over the place, and that's a good thing. We're even going to take the show on the road, out of state, as we told you. So uh, we're going to be pretty excited about that, going to some Hardee's restaurants in West Virginia, broadcasting live up there. They want us to go up there and broadcast Hardee's. So we'll be up there talking about the Thundering Herd and the West Virginia Mountaineers and Shouldn't you change the order on that? The West Virginia Mountaineers and, no. and then the Thunder. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's boy, the way to. <laughs> man, oh man. No, the Thunder Herd comes first. That's where I got my degree. Yes. So, but the Mountaineers, we'll be up there. And so we're all over the place. And thanks to Grip Energy Drink. By the way, here's the brand new one. I'm going to ready to pop a top here. This is the Sugar Free Ultra Orange. There you see it on the screen, available to all food cities. And we've got a couple here. If you want to get one of those, take with you and, and sip. You certainly can because, listen. Ah, it's music to my ears. NBA, if you take a step back, Carmichael's with us. All the trades, all the free agency from end of season to this point, Who, who's your winner, who's your loser, and what's going on with the Cleveland Cavaliers? Well, Cleveland's still trying to add pieces. They're, you know, uh, Carmelo has now said he would welcome a trade to either Cleveland or New York, or to Houston. Well, surprise, surprise, LeBron or going to play with Chris Paul. So that's... Uh, that still coming could be coming up. Cleveland did re-sign Kyle Korver to a contract, gives him another outside shooter. Uh, Houston, you know, getting Chris Paul. That's going to be interesting to see how that the dynamic of that team now with Paul and James Harden, and how they react. Uh, Minnesota picking up Jimmy Butler in a draft night trade. Also, Minnesota uh, signed Tosh Gibson, another former Chicago Bull to play with Tom Thibodeau. I think Minnesota really is the team that has made the giant step coming from a non-playoff team to now maybe one of the top four teams in the West. Utah is the team I think is taking the big hit, not only losing Hayward but losing George Hill as well. You know, and that's they did get Ricky Rubio via trade with Minnesota, but that was a team that was four in the West this year, and I would expect expect them to tumble uh the clippers you know they've got a strong front line now gallinari they were able to re-sign blake griffin and deandre jordan the 
getting their guard play will be the will be the big thing. Can they get enough good guard play? They got Patrick Beverly from Houston, uh, and they get Lou Williams coming off the bench, so they could be a, a you know a decent team as well. You know, I think Golden State kept themselves squarely at number one. I would have to say Houston probably has climbed up to two oh, and leapfrog San Antonio. I think that's Houston two, San Antonio three, and I really think Minnesota four. That's a team. They made those next steps to move up into, with Carl Anthony Towns, if he's able to stay healthy with what they've got coming back and what they've picked up, I expect them to be a top four team in the West this year. I think the Houston Rockets made a big acquisition. They got Chris Paul, right? Chris Paul, correct. So if you got Chris Paul, James Harden, they don't need Carmelo Anthony down there. There's not enough basketballs to go around those three guys. So I don't see them picking up Carmelo, in my opinion, be a good move. But anyway, that's the NBA, what we got to this point. We're live here at Champion Chevrolet. Uh, we have Major League Baseball coming up. There's the list of the home run derby, folks. Let Carmichael talk about that. Kevin, here's that magazine if you want to look at it. I got it over on the table. If you want to come take a look at it, he was interested in that. He's going to be our guest coming up next. Here at Champion Chevrolet, they've upped the rebate from $1,500 to $2,500. Rebate on tracks, crews, and Malibus. It just started, went up to $2,500 today. $1,500 it has been. And so going as of today, up to $2,500 rebate on all tracks, all crews, and all Malibus, again, here at Champion Chevrolet. They also now have 15% off all HD LT trucks, 15% off all uh, HD LT trucks, says Cletus. Also, they were going to, oh, this is pretty cool. I'm supposed to tell you about all the 2017 Equinox. They're 20% off. They've sold them all. There's not any on the lot right now. So he said, don't talk about that. I was okay. But I can tell you, we can't talk about because they've sold them all. It's been a heck of a June, and July starting off very strong here at Champion Chevrolet, the number one Chevy dealer in the state. Also, all the Traverse, now 18% off all the 2017 Traverse LT models as well. So, And then also one of those long-time uh, nameplates from Chevrolet Impalas, 25% off the sticker of all Premier Impalas, and there's only a few of those left as well. So Champion Chevrolet here in the Bristol Motor Mile, Johnson City. Hopefully we get Cletus here in a few minutes, but if he won't, let me go ahead and tell you, the guy that won the car at Freedom Hall on Tuesday night, Stephen Latchford, L-A-T-C-H-F-O-R-D, Stephen Latchford out of Whitesburg, Tennessee. One happy camper because he was one of the, what, 15, 14, 15 folks up on the stage. Each had a can of uh, Pepsi, and everybody popped them, and you poured out, uh, if you poured out Pepsi, you lose. And the one can that had Sierra Mist in it was Stephen Latchford's out of Whitesburg, Tennessee. And so that white fluid came out of that can, that clear fluid, and the guy from Whitesburg was a happy camper winning the 2017 Sonic LS brand spanking new, threw him the keys, no strings attached. So kudos to Champion Chevrolet. They do a great job, and, and obviously it made him a, a happy, happy camper to win a brand new car. And so he drove back to Whitesburg in a 2017 Sonic LS brand spanking new, compliments of Andy and Tim and all the folks here at at Champion Chevrolet. Major League Baseball home run derby. They've got them set up, ready to go. Last night, Aaron Judge, actually yesterday afternoon, hits number 29, ties the late Joe DiMaggio for the most home runs by a Yankee rookie. He's now got his sights set on McGuire's all-time rookie home run mark of, uh, what, 48 back in 1987. So uh, this guy's the deal, and so he's one of the guys in the home run derby. Yes, and, I mean, you've got a couple of rookies in here. You've got Judge and you've got Cody Bellinger, who has really been uh, just – a sensation for the Dodgers being able to keep and Bellinger's hitting against Charlie Blackman from the Rockies you know this ballpark's going to be a little bit different hitting in Miami it's not known as much of a hit as a hitter's ballpark I think Stanton he's the number one seed he's the returning champion he's playing his home ballpark I think it's with that crowd there it should be able to push him up you've got Musakas and uh, Sano two great third base hitting third baseman in this other part of the bracket I like Sano here. I just like Stanton all the way around. I think he'll. I think he will then play. He will play Bellinger in the finals. I think that'll be your two two guys meeting in the finals. Will be Stanton against Bellinger. You don't think Aaron Judge will do it? No, don't think really? Judge will. I think he'll win. I think he'll beat Justin Bohr, but I think Bellinger will beat will beat Judge. I mean, Judge though is you talk about a freak of an athlete playing baseball. He's like six five, six six, built like a built like a tight end in football and just great speed great tools i like stanton to win it over over bellinger so who wins between these two guys uh so no 
Sano's going to beat him. Sano's going to beat him. And this is Mike. Moustakas. 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 Third baseman for Kansas City having a great year. I think already 25 home runs. The club record's 36. So he's got a chance to break that this, this season. So you got Stanton against Sanchez. Moustakas against Sano. you got Aaron Judge against Justin Bohr. And Cody Bellinger against Charlie Blackman. That's your home run derby again coming up next week. And now in Miami, a lot of humidity. I mean, obviously it's a they'll close. Place. I think they'll close the roof. I think the roof will be closed. We'll close it. Okay. Yeah, because humidity definitely plays plays havoc with the flight of a baseball. If correct, and if, if it's the stadium, I mean, if the roof's open. Yeah. Yeah, and I think if it's any remote chance of rain, if there's a like if we the clouds we're, we're seeing out here, if you see those in Miami on Monday or Tuesday, I think they'll close the roof. Close the roof. Yeah. yeah. Don to Carmack again, John City Parks and Rick talk a little baseball here. We're live again at Champion Chevrolet coming up next, as we do on every Thursday. More times than not, sometimes we change his time, but uh, he'll be here with us coming up in a few minutes. Kevin Arman talking Tennessee football. Lots going on. We're also going to check in with his buddy Joe from Rip Roaring Adventures, which is a whitewater company down in southern Tennessee. We're going to hear from him. I talked to him live on the phone because he's friends with Kevin, and Kevin's helped him through his real estate company. I said, let's get this guy on the radio, or on the radio, let's get this on the Facebook, and let's talk about it. So we're going to have him on coming up in a few minutes. No, we're not on radio. That was, I don't know why I said that. I've been on the radio in four years, so uh, that's, I uh, don't know why that popped out, but it popped out. So anyway, home run derby, that's what's coming on next week in Miami. The baseball pennant races, man, tomorrow night shaping up to be a good series. You've got Kansas City, winners of, uh, what, seven out of their last ten, and the Dodgers, winners of seven of their last ten, are going to meet up starting tomorrow night for a little interleague play over the weekend. That may be a telltale sign of what may be happening in the playoffs because Kansas City's playing some really good baseball. And of course, Dodgers one of the best teams in the league right now. The Dodgers are the best team in the National League. I mean, it's almost like you don't uh, – you ask, did they – I mean, did they lose? Because it's like they've been on such a roll here lately. Uh, they have been by far the best team in the West, in the National League, but the West has really been a tight pennant race between Los Angeles, Colorado, and Arizona. Two teams that really have surpri- been surprises this year. Dodgers have won two straight, seven out of the last ten. They lead Arizona by four and a half in the West. Colorado seven and a half back. Kansas City, as we were saying, catching fire. They've won seven out of their last ten. They won four in a row, and so they are now a half game behind Cleveland. Uh, as we said earlier in the show, unfortunately, Daniel Norris, not a good outing last night. He got hammered again. He's lost three in a row, four innings, seven hits, five runs, all those earned, four walks, two strikeouts. Not a good night. He's now four and seven, so you have to wonder, and I hope it doesn't happen, but you have to wonder when they're going to you know, maybe send him down or, or bring him out of the bullpen. Read a good story. There's a now online, there's a, uh, it's a publication now that's in Detroit, Toronto, Chicago. It's called The Atlantic. You can subscribe to it. Occasionally you can get some free articles. But a really good story about Daniel last week. And a lot of what they think in Detroit is it's more mental than physical. He's trying so hard and trying to be so perfect with everything. And sometimes he thinks too much. And like the old thing is in Bull Durham, you know, don't think you're just hurting the club. Just go out there and just, just go out there and play. And sometimes they think that, that he would do that. There has been talk, we were, as you just said, about possibly going back to AAA, but they really don't want to do that. They want to keep him in the major leagues, you know, the possibility of potentially even putting him in the bullpen. bullpen. As arm, a saliva as arm as he's got, you know, come in there. It's always, it seems like he does well his first time through the order, and then he struggles then after that. And there's just been discussions. It looks like Detroit, after the All-Star break, within 37 and 46, even though they're only seven games out, there's talk that they're going to start rebuilding this year, start uh, trading away some of their older hitters possibly at the, tra- at the trade deadline, and this could be just a full rebuild mode for Detroit over the next year and a half. Talking to Carmichael, as you see on the screen with the John City Parks and Rec, we're live at Champion Chevrolet. Thanks to Grip Energy Drink, one of our great sponsors. I'm loving the sugar-free ultra orange. I've already had the uh, white grape earlier in the show, and so this one is uh, going down easy as well. Again, natural flavors and colors. Gluten-free, 125 uh, milligrams of caffeine per bottle, and that's it. Again, lightly carbonated, and so it is good, good, good. It's available to all food cities. We'll be at Food City tomorrow, State of Franklin, here in Johnson City, talking about this and more with store manager Derek Atkins and all the good folks at Food City. You look at Houston, best team in baseball, 58-27. and 27. 
the road record. And that's, third. that's they're thirty-one and nine on the road. It's the incredible. Tied for the best road record at this point since since nineteen hundred. It's unbelievable. I mean, this is a team. It's just. I mean, they're. We talked about them early in the year at the beginning of the season. This was the call. My call on who I thought would win the American, and it was because they've just got so many mashers. I mean, they really. You know, they're in Atlanta this week. They were in Atlanta the last couple of nights. And they had to sit Evan Gaddis and Carlos Beltran on the bench because, you know, they didn't have a DH in the, to play. So it's like when you can bring hitters like that off the bench, yeah. I mean, you know, you've got you've always are in a ball game. Always. You got it. Do they have any deficiencies? In your maybe opinion? maybe like a four and five starting pitcher, you know, back at the back end of the rotation. Should we see these guys in the World Series? Houston? Yes. Really? I don't think. I don't think anybody in the American League, you know, we're looking at Boston, New York, whoever went, probably you're going to have the uh, one wild card out of out of the East, maybe both of them, and possibly, you know, Los Angeles, Texas fighting for that other wild card, Cleveland, Kansas City. You've got Minnesota starting to slide back a little bit, but still, you know, you're fighting now for wild card spots. Mm-hmm. That's what... That's what this is. You're fighting to win the East and the Central, and you're fighting for the wild card spots. I mean, Houston's run away. Home field advantage all the way through the playoffs, and right now they would be the home field advantage if it was in the World Series, I think, even over the Dodgers by one game over the Dodgers. In the Central Division, you got Milwaukee still. I mean, there they are, three in a row, seven out of the last ten. They're apparently for real here at the halfway point or nearly the halfway point. They lead the Cubs by three and a half, Cardinals by five and a half, Pittsburgh to me is a big disappointment. There's seven, seven out there, seven games under 500, and but they still think they have, and they still think they have a chance. They think they can get better in the second half and get going and make a run at, make a run at Milwaukee. That division is up for grabs. I think anybody, except the Reds. Well, and you know, (laughs) as bad as the Reds are, offensively they're not a bad club. Yeah, they're They're just horrible. They're just pitching horrible, but offensively. They can hit with any of those teams in the division if they can just get any kind of pitching. You know, find some lightning in a bottle somewhere over the, in August and September. We'll go to the break, come back, talk a little college football, talk a little WWE, and talk a little NFL with Carmichael. As we go to the break, we'll come back and do the second half of, of his visit. If you had to stop, we're almost at the halfway point. If you had to pick today, if you only pick one, I think, World Series teams, you're saying Houston American League, who's in the National Dodgers? As bad as I hate to say it, the Dodgers. <laughs> I mean, I'm a I'm a Red fan from 1970, and that was the first team we learned as yes. Red fans. Now we hate the Cardinals, yeah. but back then we learned to hate the Dodgers. Ron Say, Davey Lopes, uh, Steve, Garvey, Steve Garvey, Bill Joe Russell, Ferguson, Bill uh, Russell, uh, uh, Rick Dust, Mundy, Dusty Baker, Dusty Baker, so. and Tommy Lasorda, that little penguin out there waddling around. I don't know who was more the penguin, Ron Say or Tommy Lasorda. Both of them just waddling around on the field. Reggie yes. Smith, remember him? Yeah, Reggie Plutt came over from Boston. And oh, yeah. Don Sutton, uh, starting pitcher, and Mike Marshall out of the bullpen on that 74-75 Dodger team. Pretty good team. Yes. Back in the day. But, yeah, I'm with him as a, a Reds fan. That was the team you didn't like was the Dodgers, and they're playing great baseball right now. Funny part is you talk about Kershaw. He's the guy, but you look at the numbers. Wood, going into his assignment the other night, I don't know if he got the win, but he was 9-0. and He's 10-0. He won. He won. He's 10-0. Yeah. Kershaw's in double-digit wins. So. But you hear about Kershaw, Kershaw, Kershaw. But Wood's the guy that's really kind of, you know, su- and Atlanta, you right. know, and I know Atlanta was making deals. But, you know, you put somebody like out who Alex Wood was with Atlanta. You had somebody like that pitching with that team. Atlanta has started playing better. I don't think they've got enough time to catch Washington. But – and it, getting uh, – getting away from Houston. Atlanta had to play Houston last two nights, but really the Braves have started hitting the ball better and playing much better. They're the set, by far the second best team in, in that division. Quick break. We'll be right back. We'll talk, as we said, Major League Baseball. We're talking Major League Baseball. We'll come back talk a little WWE. Also talk a little NFL and whatever else on his mind. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. We're live at Champion Chevrolet. Show number 551 of the Tom Taylor Sports Show brought to you by Grip Energy Drink. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed. 
one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org. American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City takes care of both male and female customers, but owner Kim Smith says they have a special care and concern for ladies. Being a female in what's considered a man's business, I understand the trepidation that women may have when they come to the shop. They feel like they don't know about cars, they might be intimidated, but that's not the way we do business. Everybody's treated the same. We take the time to explain anything that they have questions about, the repair, the process, the part. We want to make sure people are comfortable with what we're going to do to their vehicle and that they understand. We do cater to women in a sense. We have a real nice waiting room with nice Keurig coffee and flavored creamers, air-conditioned, cushioned seats, TV, everything a girl could want while she waits for her car to be fixed. American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City opens six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call and we'll begin right away to help you. We assist you in moving the vehicle to a certified repair shop, getting you set up with rental car, and informing your agent. Then here are the staff at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. We follow the claim through to the end. It's that easy. One and done. We're your one and done location for all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, commercial, workers' comp, and bonds. We can help you with all your insurance needs. Give me a call today, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance at 247-5400. Your one and done location in Kingsport, 247-5400. Any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Over 10 to choose from. Perfect for having the gang over to watch the big game, birthday parties, church get-togethers, backyard gatherings, everything from fruit trays to garden salad trays to nuggets and chicken strip trays. And for the sweet tooth, try the cinnamon cluster or chocolate chunk cookie tray. So you see, any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A at the crossings in North Johnson City. Back at the Tom Douglas Sports Show. He's with us for a few more minutes. Our buddy Carmichael, we're live here at Champion Chevrolet on the Bristol Motor Mile, Johnson City. Again, congratulations to Stephen Latchford out of Whitesburg, Tennessee, one of that 2017 Sonic LS2 tonight at Freedom Hall. Compliments of Champion Chevrolet. Don't forget, again, the 25% off all the Premier and Palas, that nameplate of Chevrolet. But there's only, Cletus, there's only a few left. Cletus, the sales manager here. Andy's supposed to be back next week, I think. And so we'll have him back in the saddle next week. But 25% off all the Premier and Palas. There's only a few left. And also, I thought this was really cool, as I said earlier, all the 2017 Equinox LT models, there's 20% off on them, but they've all been sold. So they don't have any until they get some more in. So they're out. So that tells you they've been moving the merchandise, as we say here at Champion Chevrolet, the number one Chevy dealer in the entire state of Tennessee from Memphis to Mountain City. We're joined by Carmichael again for a few more minutes. So NFL and college football, kind of the, as we were saying during the break, a calm before the storm. Everybody kind of getting ready, getting focused, but not quite yet. But again, uh, looks to be a great college football season, NFL season coming up. Yeah, everybody's kind of on vacation. NFL training camps, a lot of them will start probably two weeks from this week uh, toward the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, that area, uh, especially getting ready for the Hall of Fame game coming up early in August. Uh, college camp, same way. It's kind of most of the summer camps for football are, have, are over with now. They've done their evaluations. Uh, you're starting to hear some recruiting chatter across the country, people starting to commit early in the fall. Uh, most everybody, though, this is like vacation week before we go back and start before we ha- have a uh, media days coming up in, over the next two, three weeks throughout the different conferences and different uh, colleges. 
So that tells you, of course, it's about time. Of course, the Big Orange Caravan will be in town next Tuesday night, again at the Farmer's Market in downtown Kingsport. Butch Jones, Rick Barnes, Holly Warlick, I think they're all going to be here, the big guys and ladies of the, the major sports of Tennessee, along with the new athletic director. So it should be a fun night next Tuesday night or this coming Tuesday night at the Farmer's Market in downtown Kingsport there in front of Food City where we were last week broadcasting. So easy to find. Of course, that'll be right before Fun Fest cranks up. So the only stop this year in the Tri-Cities for the Tennessee Big Orange Caravan Tuesday night, downtown Kingsport, again there at the Farmer's Market on Clinchfield Street. So that uh, should be a lot of fun. And Butch comes to town, and I was I showed Kevin the, the uh, one of the prognostication magazines I picked up last night. And, you know, depending on who you ask or who you read from, I should say, some say, you know, uh, 10 and 2, some say 9 and 3, one said 7 and 5. One said eight and four, so they're all over the road as far as where they think Tennessee's going to end up. How did Mr. Steele? Phil Steele is probably, if you want accuracy, he is probably the guy in college football. If you want to read just one college football magazine, That's what I'm thinking. Phil, Phil Steele is the magazine you go get. He's as accurate. He usually has the national champion or at least the game close to it picked every single season. So what does Phil have to say about the balls this Double year? Double-digit wins. He said they're going to be under the radar. He said the, uh, the hits they took last year, the defensive line when they got hurt and had to play all these young guys will come back and benefit them on the defensive line if they get Dormandy or uh, Garantamo going in on the quarterback inside, look out. So uh, he also said look out for Georgia because they got Chubb and, and Sony Michelle back in the backfield along with the, uh, I think the kid's name is Easton, the Georgia quarterback. So, But he was very complimentary of Tennessee. And I'd he- never picked up his magazine. I picked it up, of course, now they got a whole wall at some of the different bookstores of, of all these uh, predict prognos- prognosticate preseason magazines. Thank you. <laughs> Prog- prognos- I can't even say it. It's preseason and I know, but I'm trying to say prognostication. It. Thank you. Prognostications or prognosticators, if you will. And so, out of all the magazines I looked at last night, this guy is really thorough. He- so. Uh, I guess I'm giving a free plug to the guy. He's probably going to thank me for it, but he, he Bill used Steel's to be. Magazine's good. I used to listen to him back in the day. Bill King, for people around this area, Bill King was one of the best. Was one of the first college, just devoting to college football and college basketball for years out of WLAC out of Nashville, and then he was on Sirius for years. I think Bill does his own local show now in Nashville, and he always had Phil Steele on, like on Fridays. And that was I would turn on every Friday morning, coming to work, listen to Phil Steele talk, or and then in my office putting it on the computer, listen to him talk because the guy knows what he's talking about about college football. They try to get him on the show. He's he does, and he's 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 great. He's pol- he's very polite uh, to all the callers. He'll you know he'll he t- does stuff. He talks to the callers just like he's talking to me and you. And he's re- and just does it's his magazine's very in depth. I mean, you oh, have to. Goodness. I mean, it's but he gives and it's a little bit more pricier than the ones. But if you want to know anything about college football, and he does a pro football one as well. I've never read his pro football one, but he does the college football, and it's a great, great magazine. Some of the magazines I looked at last night, half of them, you know, half the, the magazines full of cheerleaders pictures, and that's okay. Pretty cheerleaders of the different schools, and that's okay. But if you want nuts and bolts and information about the teams. And I, I'm, I guess I'm giving a really good free plug with Phil Steele's magazine. It's out. I bought it last night. It is a little pricey. I wasn't pricey to me because I looked at the information I get. I mean, from every school, Division One, I, I mean, across the board. So good reference tool. But anyway, he says that uh, it's going to be a double-digit win for the uh, season for the volunteers to start against Georgia Tech, which is no easy task to get started. We've got coming up, before I let you go, we've got Kevin waiting in the wings. Great balls of fire. The WWE coming up Sunday night. Uh, let's see, the Universal Championship. Brock Lesnar against Samoa Joe. What's the story? I don't know anybody of these guys. Brock Lesnar is a monster. He no. is a – now, he's older. I, I remember one of the first times he started with the WWE. I saw him in Bristol, but he's a was an NCAA wrestling champion at Minnesota. Uh, went to the went to the U.S. Ultimate Fighting Championships, won the heavyweight title there. So I mean, he's a legit tough guy. Samoa Joe's kind of a tough wrestler too. He's small. He's smaller in height than Brock Lesnar. Brock's like six five, six six. Uh, Samoa's a good is a good wrestler, but I would th- I think Brock will win this. It'll be a it'll be a match two biggins going at each other. This the next one's called the ambulance match. Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman. Is that yes, Braun name? Strowman, that who actually, <laughs> his dad, Braun Strowman's dad, uh, is Rick Shear, who was a Hall of Fame slow pitch softball player. We had him in Johnson City many times when we played for Howard's 
uh, out, of West, out of Denver, North Carolina. So Braun's from this area, from the Charlotte area. Big kid, like 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, topping about three bills, 3'10". Roman Reigns, Roman played football at Georgia Tech, was a uh, defensive lineman down at Georgia Tech. Part of the, He's a cousin to The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, the mm. Hollywood actor, pro wrestler, you know, the whole bit. Two big guys going at it. Strowman has had the edge so far in this little feud that they've had. And I think the WWE for years has tried to push Roman Reigns as the next big thing, but the fans just don't like him. I think that <laughs> Strowman, I think now they really want to put Strowman against Lesnar earlier, like a month or so ago, but Strowman injured his elbow, came back early. I think Strowman wins this uh, wins this match on t- uh, Sunday night so, uh, because I think they're setting it up for Strowman to wrestle Brock Lesnar at uh, SummerSlam in August. There you go. Uh, Intercontinental Championship, The Miz versus Dean Ambrose. You've got the Women's Championship, Alexa Bliss against Sasha Banks. you got the Tag Team Championship, Sheamus and Cesaro. The, and Cesaro. Cesaro wrestling the Hardy, Hardy Boys. Boys. This, will be, this will be the match. This will be the match of the night. If you want, it's a 30 minute time limit, so they'll wrestle. They'll go 30 minutes. Uh, it'll be the, probably the most entertaining match of the night. There you go. Uh, Neville against Akira Tazawa. Tazawa. Yes. The Cruiserweight Championship. And then Enzo Amore versus Big Cass. That's, that's you'd go to the that's go to the concession stand, get your popcorn <laughs> match, or go to the bathroom, or go out and buy a T-shirt match, or if you're home, just you know go fix you something to eat and come back when that one's over with. I don't know anything about these guys or ladies. So anyway, it's coming up uh, it's Sunday, Sunday night. The Great Balls of Fire. It's going to be in Dallas. Okay, beginning at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. There you go. That's so. Will you be watching that? Are you into no. that? No, I'm into. I'm, I'm into. I, and I'm more into the old time wrestling. I started back in like 1971, but I'll just wait till the next. Uh, I'll either if I'm up, I'll I'll check Twitter and find out. If not, I'll read about it next morning. There you go. Keep up with it. Or maybe I'll have something to say about it on Monday. Uh, maybe I don't know. I don't even know how to pronounce. I name. YouTube. I do most of my wrestling. I watch old matches and old and things off uh, YouTube. There you go. Appreciate you coming Saturday in the park. Tell me about that real quick. Saturday in the park, uh, next Saturday, July 15th at Memorial Park Community Center. Going to be doing some basketball, uh, little basketball games earlier in the day, like around 3 o'clock. We're going to have a three-point shooting contest, a free-throw shooting contest, and a hot shot shooting contest. Uh, Then we'll have games and things going on at Memorial Park starting at 5.30. There will be a nature hike. You can park your car there and take a bus over to Jacobs Nature Creek and do a little hike before... Uh, and then there will be a movie next uh, next Saturday night, nine o'clock, or as close to dark as possible. E.T. There you go. The movie E.T. So, and if it rains, we're moving everything inside. Con- we'll have concessions there: hot dogs, popcorn, cotton candy, drinks. So it's just a nice night to come out, celebrate. July is uh, National Parks Month, and this is just something we're doing this year to celebrate National Parks Month. There you go. Good job, my friend. Thank yes, sir. You. Back next week? Back next week. I'll be in Atlanta Tuesday and come back Wednesday, and I'll be back here next Thursday. Quick break. We'll be right back. Kevin Harmon joins us next. We're live at Champion Chevrolet, brought to you by Grip Energy Drink here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. At American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the things that owner Tim Smith is most proud of is their hard-earned certifications. We are an ASC Blue Seal shop, which is important because what it tells the customer is we care enough to get certified, not in one certain area of cars. You have to be certified in eight different certifications, in eight different tests you have to take, and you have to be updated on them yearly to to make sure that you're uh, up to date. We not only have one of those, we have three ASE Master Technicians here with the ratio. It goes into a ratio, and it's, we're a Blue Seal shop, so uh, it tells you that we, we care about training and we care about knowing about your car. We want to help fix it right. American Import Auto Repair, West Market Street, Johnson City, home of the free loaner car program. Open six days a week. Call today, 913-3111. Hi, I'm Rob Cole with Bays Mountain Park. There's something for everyone at Bays Mountain Park. Whether you're an outdoor enthusiast or simply looking to get away and relax, Bays Mountain Park in Kingsport, Tennessee is the perfect destination. For only $4 per vehicle, enjoy 3,500 acres of breathtaking scenery, featuring 40 miles of hiking trails, wildlife habitat, one of the southeast premier planetariums, and much, much more. For more information, please visit www.baysmountain.com 
or call us at 423-229-9447. Bays Mountain Park, one of the Tri-Cities' best places for learning, leisure, and recreation. If you're catching some waves or just playing in the yard, it is important to protect yourself. You may not feel the sun's heat, but UV rays can still damage your skin even in cloudy weather. Blue Lizard Sunscreen, recommended by pharmacists and dermatologists nationwide. Our SPF 30-plus formulations use only the highest quality ingredients for broad-spectrum protection. As a reminder to protect yourself, our bottle turns blue when UV light is present. Blue Lizard, we've got you covered. Your life is always changing. You never know what shape it will take or how your financial needs might change. But if we talk about your investments and how they can provide for you and your family, the future becomes clear. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we believe conversation leads to financial clarity. Let's start a conversation today. So there he is. He's our buddy. Look at him. He's got his UT shirt on ready to rock and roll. He is Kevin Harmon with the UT Sports Update. And we're going to get a special guest coming up here. <clears throat> special guest coming up here in just a few minutes. I hope I muted that so y'all didn't hear that. You did. Woo. Hey, clear my throat. You're out on the air. It's just terrible. Don't like that. It's old radio coming out at me. Kevin Harmon, UT Sports Update. We've got a special guest we're going to go to here in just a few minutes and talk to him. But we got my regular special guest here, my man, Kevin Harmon. What do you think about this book? I mean, I'm not going to give this guy free plugs all day, but... Uh, He's pretty detailed. Here's... here's uh, Yeah. <clears throat> it's not your typical, as I was saying earlier. Some of these prognostication books have half of them is full of cheerleader pictures, and, which is okay, I guess, but if you want nuts and bolts, this guy's got two pages of pretty uh, solid stats on all the teams. Uh, Marshall, Utah State, SMU, UConn, BYU. Well, he goes to all the D1 schools, I believe. Oh, yeah, it looks all like. of them. So, anyway, uh, they've got him, but we've got Kevin Harmon. So, uh, <laughs> UT Sports, let's see. We've got, of course, Caravan, as we yeah. said earlier in the show, coming <clears throat> next Tuesday night to the Farmer's Market in downtown Kingsport. Should be a big deal. It's from, what, 5 to 7 o'clock? Is that 5 right? to 7 next Tuesday night <clears throat> at the Farmer's Market in Kingsport. Uh, be the only visit to the Tri-Cities. And... Um, <clears throat> it's always a fun time. I've been in a few of them, and they're always fun. It's always good to be around people and talk balls and be around other Vol fans, and you'll see people that you didn't know were Vol fans that you've seen around. So I enjoy it quite a bit. And it'll be uh, yeah next next, next Tuesday. Tuesday. Yep. Yeah, July the, the day after Monday. Thank you. The Farmer's Market. I'm trying to do two things here. Farmer's Market, which will be in downtown Kingsport, as you know, right there beside Food City in Clinchfield. It is after Monday and before Wednesday. And it's also, yeah. they're getting up for Fun Fest week, because next uh-huh. week we'll be over there with the Crazy Eights Road Race next Saturday night. So, yep, big week in Kingsport. Big Orange Caravan. Butch is coming. New AD is probably going to be there. I know Rick Barnes is coming. Got some basketball news to talk about coming up. Uh, I would think Holly Warlick's going to make a little trip up. Possibly. So, probably maybe the baseball coach. Yeah. Uh, so, it's a lot, a lot of stuff happening on the hill. So, yeah. But what everybody um, wants to see and who they want to see and meet, I guess, would be Butch Jones, right? Well, football rules the roost there at UT. Go. And uh, uh, Barnes, you know, he's just signed a four-star. I, I don't remember his name off the top of my head. But he's got a four-star athlete, uh, a signee. And um, our baseball team has got a couple of good signees. Uh, Harley Warlick lost some players. But it uh, should be a fun night. I, I, if you're a UT fan, you've never been to one, you need to go. Yeah. It's only $5. Yeah. And that goes to the athletic scholarship fund. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. They sign things, get pictures taken. Oh yeah, all that. if you want them, yeah, you'll get pictures. You can get them signed. Uh, there'll be a little bit of food, I'm sure. There was times I've been, and uh, each play, each team will, each coach will get up and take questions, and each coach will get up and talk about his team, and it's just a fun night. It's a fun yeah. night to be around Tennessee people, and you know, you this is, you know, of course, this is big orange country, 
But it's just a fun night. So, fun, whole, so it's just it's worth the visit. Bob Kessler will be there, the voice of the balls. You see me on the radio, so he's always the MC of the event. Chancellor Davenport and UT Tuition. What's going on with that? Well, I was just going to throw this out there that she came uh, yesterday and announced that if you are a um, veteran, uh, they have waived in they have waived out of state tuition for uh, veterans and their dependents. So if you live, say, in the state of Nevada and you want to go to UT, you can now pay, and you're a veteran or you're dependent of a veteran, you will now pay in-state tuition. You don't have to pay out-of-state tuition, which is a big, it's a big deal. It I mean, it's, big that's deal. a nice, it's a nice gesture to make to out-of-state veterans that if they want an education at the University of Tennessee, any branch, any campus of the University of Tennessee, that they will pay in-state tuition. Donna Kevin Army's here on the screen of UT Sports Update. We've got a special guest. We're going to take a break and talk to you coming up here in just a little while. And also, Cletus is going to join us, we hope, before we get out of here from Champion Chevrolet. He's been busy. That's a good thing. It's, after all, the number one Chevy dealer in the state from Memphis to Mountain City. Again, I think it's really cool. I want to tell you one more time. They have the 2017 Equinox LT models, 20% off. And Cletus said, don't talk about it because we sold them all. <laughs> so we don't have any more to sell until we get some more in on the truck. That's a nice problem to have. So, uh, yeah. again, it's been very busy out here. Had some That's a good problem on. to have. Oh, yeah. I used to work. When I worked at Kroger. We, I had worked for a manager who said that uh, I could sell bananas for five cents a pound if I didn't have any. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> I understood what he meant. Yes. Moving on here. UT commit from last week. Right. Big we got Greg Emerson finally committed to the University of Tennessee, a top 50 lineman, uh, the number two player in the state behind Cade Mays. Uh, 16th commit for this year. Puts Tennessee in the top five in recruiting right now. Of course, we've got a long way to go, but I'd rather be in the top five now than, you know, never. You know, so it's a good starting point. Tennessee's got 16 commitments. Uh, they're getting to the point where they can sort of pick and choose from here on out. Uh, we still got a lot of players coming down the road, but uh, Greg Emerson was taken from, he was also offered from Alabama, Ohio State, Clemson, Ole Miss, or Oregon, and LSU. So that's a that's a very nice offer list, and of course he's an NSA student from Jackson, Tennessee, home of Al Wilson. Um, so it's a it's a nice pickup. You know we've got a lot of linemen so far this year, and a lot of good linemen. And Tennessee now has six of the top ten, with the the tenth is still uncommitted, uh, the Corvin kid out of um, Humboldt, I believe, Tennessee. But he's leaning towards Tennessee. So it's possible that Tennessee could take seven of the top ten players from the state. Now I've got down here about the state of Tennessee recruiting, and I went over it this morning. The top 30 players from the state of Tennessee will probably play Division I football. The 18th recruit in the state of Tennessee just recruited to Oklahoma, just committed to Oklahoma. So that, sh that shows that the depth of recruits coming out of Tennessee is getting better and better and better. I don't think I, I can ever remember where the top 30 players in the state of Tennessee in high school will play D1 football. Usually it's the top five or six, and the rest of them play at Maryville College or mm -hmm. Tusculum or Emmy and Henry, sure. somewhere like that. But now you've got it's, – it's, it's a pretty powerful list. I mean, the 19th player just committed to Ole Miss. You know, Tennessee just got the 20th player before uh, Emerson committed. Then um, – I mean, it's just a, it's a great list. So Tennessee will probably get seven of the top ten in the state, which is a good haul. You know, you need to put a fence around your state if you can. You know, we're not Georgia, we're not Florida as far as uh, that type of players and depth of quality players, but we're getting there. We're talking to Kevin Harmon talking Tennessee sports, a UT sports update every week here, <clears throat> the champion Chevrolet. And so good news uh, if you're a ball fan on the recruiting scene. 16th commit, and they're in there now with Alabama, Ohio State, Clemson, Ole Miss, Oregon, and LSU as far as uh, the number of commitments already. Is that correct? Correct. Good stuff. So if you're a UT fan, uh, A, you should be pleased with what you're hearing, and B, you should be there Tuesday night, again, in Kingsport, the only Tri-Cities appearance this year, the Big Orange Caravan from 5 until 7 o'clock at the Farmer's Market in downtown Kingsport there where the uh, carousel is, and most folks know where it's at in downtown Kingsport there in front of the Food City on Clinchfield Street. And again, five to seven o'clock, a whopping five dollars. Meet these coaches and rub elbows with the Tennessee brass, and and have a big time there on Tuesday night. Baseball again, a new coach. He's went right mm -hmm. out and got some uh, got some good recruits. Got two left-handed pitchers. Uh, one of them, Garrett Crochet, uh, was actually drafted in the 34th round. And decided to come back to school, and he chose Tennessee over Texas. And Texas is a perennial baseball power, so it's nice to see us beat out. Uh, 
a nice team like Texas for another pitcher. And we also got another pitcher from Albuquerque, New Mexico, who throws in the low 90s, a left-hander named Mitchell Parker. So it looks like our baseball coach has hit the ground running. It's the ground running. So we got men's basketball story here, too. The Tennessee basketball team releasing its non-conference schedule for next year. Uh, it includes national champions North Carolina as well as Georgia Tech, Wake Forest, and Iowa State. Third season under the direction of Rick Barnes, the Vols will play host to a lot of regional opponents, including Lipscomb, Presbyterian, High Point, Mercer, and Furman. These are all checkbook games scheduled to visit Thompson Bowling Arena. Thanksgiving week trip to the Bahamas for the battle, the battle for Atlantis, a tournament which features four 2017 NCAA tournament participants, rounds out the Tennessee's 12-game non-conference slate. And so Tennessee returns nine players from last year's squad that finished 16 and 16, 8 and 10 of the Southeastern Conference. I like Rick Barnes. I think guys doing a good job. A lot of folks don't. They kind of well, question some of the stuff going on down there. Well, they, they question his recruiting. He does He hasn't signed, you know, until he got this number four four-star prospect. He really hadn't signed that many prospects, but he signs kids that he believes he can coach and coach them to his level. I mean, the focus of the kid's a great example. Uh, he's going to be a star there at UT, and he's, he's got his sling off, so he uh, says he'll be ready for basketball season. After playing as one of the youngest teams in the country last season, the Vols will boast six upperclassmen in 2017-18. Here's an interesting stat. Last year, five members from the highest scoring freshman class in program history the five freshmen last year scored over 1,100 points. So Grant Williams, uh, Jordan Bone, Jordan Bowden, Lamonte Turner, John Falkerson, as he mentioned. So these guys are all back. He's when I got some uh, JUCO transfers. So uh, also additional help provided by junior guards Lucas Campbell and Brad Woodson, along with Fred Shirt freshman Jacob Fleshman. So uh, they're going to release the Southeastern Conference schedule later this summer. But they jump us out there and plays North Carolina. Georgia Tech, Wake Forest, and Iowa State. I thought he made a great point when he first came here. He said, I want to be playing in Atlanta as much as I can because I want Atlanta kids to see and hear about Tennessee basketball because that's a big recruiting hotbed. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The Atlanta, the Atlanta area has great basketball. It's got great AAU programs. Um, I think they have released some of the – I know they play Kentucky home and home, and they have Florida and Knoxville this year. They don't play Florida home and home, but they have Kentucky – um, they play Mississippi State on the road. I, I don't remember the other ones, but you know, it's always good to get Kentucky home and home, and I believe they have Georgia at home and home. There you go. Talking to Kevin Arm, UT Sports Update. Going to take a break. We've got everything covered, don't we? talked everything up and down the list here. We Let's, did. Yeah, we got her covered. It's kind of the calm before the storm. Practice one of the players show back up and come back in, the Tennessee football players. They come back in. Are they in now? Most of them in town. Still doing summer out. workouts. Yeah. yeah, they're still doing summer workouts. So they leave maybe for a week, kind of go do something, get away, and come back, get ready, right? That's exactly right. And then summer school. I'm not sure when the first session of summer school ends. It may have already. And then the second session begins, and uh, still the, you have most of the team on campus doing summer workouts with uh, this, with the with the strength and conditioning coach. Yeah, I think this is the time when Butch and those guys have gotten away during July Fourth weekend. That's usually when most of the, the big name coaches disappear to go wherever and spend some time with the family because when they come back uh, on Monday after the 4th of July week and weekend or weekend and week, then it's uh, pedal to the metal. It's showtime. So a lot of the coaches are kind of disappeared here for this week and back ready to go on Monday. Quick break. We'll be right back. We're getting ready to meet who now? This Joe Novotny. Joe Novotny. Uh, Joe Novotny. Joe, is, Joe lives in, is moving from West Virginia, his family. Yeah. And they're living now in uh, Danders, Tennessee. And he owns a whitewater business. His family, he and his wife, own a whitewater business. His wife is Crystal. And they own a whitewater business um, in Hartford, Tennessee, which is um, it's one of the exits as you're going into the Smokies on 40. Uh, if, if you're headed 40, I guess it would be west uh, or east, excuse me. Um, 40 east. 40 east. That's yeah. where I would go to my mom's house. So um, she lives in Greensboro. So you... They're right there off the exit. Uh, I believe it's 447. Joe can tell us better. Uh, I don't want to steal his thunder. Yep. Uh, he's got a great business down there, and he's a great guy and a great guy. And, and Crystal runs the shop, and she's a great lady. And uh, they have a lot to offer. I think you'll enjoy the conversation. He's going to join us coming up next. Again, a West Virginia boy now in Tennessee. I like that. Yes, sir. And so we'll talk to Joe next right after this break here as we're live at Champion Chevrolet and the Tom Taylor Sports Show. This is the place. The place where you can forget all about work for a while and celebrate the good old U.S. of A. And take in the best bumper-banging, fist-waving, hero-making short track race of the year, the Bass Pro Shops NRA Night Race. 
and kids' tickets are just $10. Be there August 19th because it ain't just another race. It's Bristol, baby. Trucks, 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 and more trucks at Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City. We have a huge selection of over 400 new Silverados to choose from, with over 700 total Chevrolets in stock, with savings that are bigger than our massive selection. Silverado Double and Crew Cab All-Stars, 11000 off MSRP. Malibu LT, 20% off. 17 Colorado, 19995 17 Equinox, 21445 Don't miss out on one of the best times to buy a new Chevrolet with savings that will leave you asking. How do they do that? At Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City. At Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, they treat thousands of patients each year dealing with diabetes and its effects. Diabetes overtaking our nation and leaving a path of destruction behind. Through wound care, office visits, and preventive care, they see most of the patients after a problem arises. Using diabetic footwear, such as shoes and inserts, a great way to prevent or prolong skin breakdown and amputation. At Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, they use only custom molds from patient mold inserts, which further ensure a great recovery, or better yet, prevents a wound from happening. They use custom molded shoes, bracing, custom inserts, and extra depth diabetic shoes to prevent wounds or other skin issues from beginning. Call today, 1-800-524-4447. 39 years, six locations, one family. Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, 1-800-524-4447. Any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Over 10 to choose from. Perfect for having the gang over to watch the big game, birthday parties, church get-togethers, backyard gatherings, everything from fruit trays to garden salad trays to nuggets and chicken strip trays. And for the sweet tooth, try the cinnamon cluster or chocolate chunk cookie tray. So you see... Any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A at the crossings in North Johnson City. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org. Back with the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Thanks for being with us. We're live here at Champion Chevrolet, the number one Chevy dealer in the state from Memphis to Mountain City. And on the phone, you see on the screen, Joe Novotny with Rip Roaring Adventures. Joe's a West Virginia boy. Hit the bell. I like it. He's a transplant from West Virginia. And good afternoon, sir. How you doing? I'm doing very well, Tom. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. So, again, from the hills of West Virginia, a transplant down to Tennessee. So, tell us about Joe Novotny and how in the world did you get into uh, opening up this great company known as Rip Roaring Adventures here in Tennessee? Tell me about it. <laughs> well, at this point in my life, Tom, I'm, I'm a proud father of a two year old daughter and husband to my amazing wife, Crystal. Uh, we, we purchased Rip Roaring Adventures here uh, this last September. Uh, it's it's been a many years in the making for us. Uh, I've been a whitewater rafting guide for over 17 years. I, I started raft guiding out in Colorado, on the Arkansas River, and uh, and then became a raft guide in West Virginia as well, guiding on the rivers in West Virginia, where I met my beautiful wife and fell in love with the transient lifestyle of being a raft guide and, and experiencing so many different rivers. It's a it's been a blessing, and then uh, I guess now it's on to the next chapter in our lives as, as owning our own company and, and putting our own uh, own style on this, this rafting company. Uh, Rip Roaring Adventures actually started in 1995. Uh, that's when rafting began on the Pigeon River there in Hartford, Tennessee, and uh, so we purchased the existing company, uh, and, and like I said, we, we 
make it more of a family adventure for us uh, with the family uh, running the business, you know, from one point of Crystal uh, taking your reservation to me taking you down the river. So there's different levels for folks that have not, and I used to shoot the rapids when I was in West Virginia back as a kid. There are different classes as far as rapids, and they go from what, uh, one to five or one to four? Tell me about that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, rivers are typically classified from a one to a six level. Um, you know, class one being uh, slow moving water where there's minimal gradient, uh, similar to, you know, lake water. And then class six rapids, which are impassable, very high danger, uh, you know, something similar to Niagara Falls, something like that. So uh, what we raft on the Pigeon River is, is class three rafting. It's great for beginners, uh, also an amazing run for intermediates. You know, it offers many big river features, uh, but with, with less of a risk. Uh, because of the class three classification it's a uh, it's fun for the whole family uh, kids as low as eight years old can go, go down our upper, upper section the upper sections where all the rapids are um, there's uh several class three rapids two class fours on there and then our lower section is uh the more mild scenic river section uh, mainly class one and two water down there uh, just all around amazing experience for families Donald Joe Novotny again with Rip Roaring Adventures. Again, he's with us live by phone, obviously, as you see on the screen. So what are people where you kind of answer one of those, the age limits, and what are people where? Are you going down in canoes? Are you going down in inflatable rafts? What are you in, and, and what are people wearing? Again, what are the age limits? Okay, yeah, definitely. We're, uh, we use inflatable rafts, up to seven paddlers, plus there is a trained uh, certified raft guide in the back of the boat with you. Uh, that that guide navigates you down through the rapids by steering, and then also a, uh, you know, uh, commands to the guides for for the guests for paddling. Uh, what you want to wear is uh, really whatever you're more comfortable with: a uh, bathing suit, any uh, quick drying material such as uh, Under Armour or or shorts and a t-shirt. Um, one thing that we don't allow is flip flops on the river, so get, guests must wear sandals with a heel, uh, water shoe, or a tennis shoe. And then uh, age limits on the upper section, it's eight years old or older or 70 pounds. If you've got a seven-year-old that's 70 pounds, we'll still take them on the upper section. And then the lower section is three-year-old or older. We're getting with Tom Joe Novotny with Rip Roaring Adventures. We'll get his website coming up here in a minute or how to get a hold of him. But uh, if you fall out, obviously you've got folks here to help you if you, you don't want you to fall out. And more times than not, you probably won't. But if you do... Uh, you can help them with that. And also, do we just sit there the whole time, or do we paddle, or are we involved in the, the movement of the raft going down the river? Or how do, What do we do if we get in your, when we get into your, uh, into your inflatable raft? Okay. Yeah, before we even uh, leave our base camp to head to the river to put in, uh, our guides go over an extensive safety orientation. Uh, they go over various scenarios that we could encounter on the river. Uh, so that all of our guests are fully informed and comfortable dealing with any uh, out-of-boat experiences, is what we call it, uh, through self- and team-based rescues. So we, we definitely do some coaching before we get out on the river in case anything were to happen. And then I also work as a swift water rescue instructor uh, where I teach other raft guides, fire departments, police departments, uh, swift water rescue techniques. So all of our guides at Rip Roaring are... Uh, are trained in swift water rescue and trained how to handle any situation that we may encounter on the river. Do I plan for the day? Is it a two-hour trip? Is it a four-hour trip? Is it an all-day trip? Do I pack food? Um, what do I do? I mean, is there concessions? Is there a place we can get some food? Or how does that work? Yeah, definitely. We offer trips. Now, the way the Pigeon River is set up is it is a dam-released river where uh, they have to release water from the dam for hydroelectric purposes. And uh, the water releases daily on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays from Memorial Day to Labor Day. Hmm. So uh, we have those four days to raft. Um, they, they begin the releases on the water there at noon. So we offer three trips a day on the upper and the lower sections. The first trip going out at 1130, 2 o'clock, and 4 o'clock on the upper sections. And then the lower, uh, our first river trip is 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and then 5 o'clock on the lower. So uh, we, we are uh, constrained to when there is water in the river, but, but that's when you want to go is when there's water in the river so that uh, there are those big waves and, and big fun that you can have out there. Absolutely. We're talking to Joe Novotny. You see on the screen the Rip Roaring Adventures. Transplant from Fayetteville, West Virginia now down to uh, what's the name of the city or what's the name of the town you guys are in now? 
Is it Hartford? Uh, our business is our business is located in Hartford, Tennessee. It's located at uh, exit four forty seven on I forty East. There, uh, we're just before you uh, cross over the uh, North Carolina Tennessee border, and our upper section actually begins its river trip right on the border. So, uh, uh, you get the you get the North Carolina and the Tennessee experience with us. Absolutely. Now, from a calendar standpoint, here it is in July. At what point later on in the year you go, okay, water's too cold, we can't do it any longer, you guys are doing trips through August, through September? How late do you continue to be on the river? Well, like I said before, it's a dam-released river, so uh, we're dependent upon water, and uh, we're only guaranteed water from Memorial Day to Labor Day. Okay. So here at the uh, the first week of September, uh, we're no longer guaranteed water, but that doesn't mean we won't go rafting. It just means that uh, uh, the water levels can vary. It could be higher water than what they normally release, or it could be lower water. Um, all river trips through there is definitely beautiful. You're right on the edge of the north uh, or the uh, northeast edge of the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. You actually float through the Cherokee National Forest and the Martha, Martha Sunquist State Forest. So. Uh, Definitely, the mountain setting and the river setting is is beautiful any time of the year with with any amount of water that's in the in the river. Absolutely, we live in God's country and it's beautiful around here and it's beautiful where you are off of Exit Four Forty Seven I Forty East. Again, it's Rip Roaring Adventures. Last question: There's lots of them out there, Joe. What separates your company from the other whitewater companies, in your humble opinion? My humble opinion, the fact that we are a small family owned and ran business, you know, like I said before, Crystal, my wife's going to be the one that answers the phone, taking the reservations. You know, I'll, I'll be taking you down the river personally or driving your bus. And, and we want uh, your family to be a part of ours when we take you down the river. It's a, it allows our guides to spend more time with our guests on and off the river because uh, the larger companies, you know, they, they, they have a busier trip schedule, so they're they're trying to get people down quickly as possible, and and uh, we have the ability to spend a little bit more time, and then also our safety record. You know, uh, as I mentioned before, I'm a swift water rescue instructor. All of our guides go through that training. Uh, that's not required of 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 all the guides from all the companies, but it's something I believe separates us from the other companies because we emphasize safety and rescue, and then we also want you to have as much fun as possible. There you go. And then thirdly, yep, thirdly, we also offer a, a share your adventure program that we're doing uh, that, that no other company is offering. It's a video program where we have a kayaker that goes out ahead of the trip, and uh, he videos the rafts coming through the rapids, videos before before the river, given the safety instruction, and then after the river, where he captures your whole river experience uh, in a video, and then he shares it with our guests via email. And it's in a shareable format where uh, it can be shared on all platforms of social media. So that's uh, that's one thing that we're offering to our guests that uh, no other companies are offering at this time on the Pigeon River. That is really cool. Share your adventure video. Again, it's Rip Roaring Adventures. All right, the obvious closing this thing out here. Tell us how we can get a hold of you. Is there a website or a phone number? How do we find you? Yeah, our website is raftingtennessee.com. Uh, you can book trips from there or find our 1-800 number, which is 800-449-RAFT. Uh, you can book, book the trips through Crystal. She'll be answering the phone there or also online. And uh, we, we look forward to seeing you guys out on the Pigeon River this summer. RaftingTennessee.com or 1-800-449-RAFT raft on your uh, on your cell phone or your telephone keypad. So good stuff. Joe Novotny, you're awesome. Thank you, my friend. Welcome to Tennessee and old West Virginia Hillbilly Transplant. Married a West Virginia girl, and I understand that. So uh, it's all good, and we appreciate you very much. And I'll get you back on pretty soon talk again. Would you Would you do it again for me? I will definitely come come here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. I really appreciate it, Tom. Yep, and check us out on Facebook. You can go back and watch yourself. Share us and like us down there at Rip Roaring Adventures, and we'll do the same, and I'll, I'll talk to you soon, all right? Sounds great. We'll see you on the river. You got it. Good man right there. Joe Novotny, awesome job. Appreciate him very much being with us here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. And, Kev, yeah, put your cans back on real quick here before we get going. we got Cletus waiting on us, but I want to get you back on one more time. You've helped this young man, and, and uh, again, the website is raftingtennessee.com. Again, 1 800 449 raft. And so you've met this gentleman through your day job, which is on your ball cap, Century 21 Legacy. And so you've helped him, Greg. Yes, uh, we we started in Greenville. We ended up in Danvers, Tennessee. Found a home on uh, Douglas Lake. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, it was actually the home of the new Dobbins Bennett basketball coach who has since moved up here, um, Chris Poor. And um, and Joe, you know, loves water. Mm-hmm. Crystal, they love water. They love being around water, and they're right there on the lake. Uh, they don't back up to the lake, but the dock is less than 100 yards from their house. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's, a, it's a really nice community. Danish is a pretty cool place. You know, you're in the middle of big orange country. Um, but it's a nice town, nice old town. And uh, it's a beautiful area. And Douglas Lake is not, you know, it's a beautiful lake. It's typically full all the time. And um, Yeah, I did. I met, we met, we started probably in February and ended up uh, closing, uh, I think it was June 26th in, uh, Dan- in uh, Sevierville, actually. And, uh, you know, and bless them, they had to live in cabins and, and move around a lot to do the business, go back home and, and get everything. They have a two-year-old daughter, Josie. And uh, their mom and their dad are, are coming around, and uh, you know they they went through a lot. It was great to get them a home and, and get them in a place, and uh, um, and and get them where they can be. And they're close to their business, and they're and they uh, they're close to the the brother lives down there. Crystal's brother lives in uh, Kodak, I believe. Mm-hmm. And um, so it's just it was a win win for everybody. And I, when I got to meet him, you know, I mean, he's a a big rifle water guy, and I've, I've it's been a long time since I've done it, but I'm gonna go back up and take uh, Megan Davis and her oh, yeah. girlfriend, and we're gonna ride the rapids. And uh, it's a it's a cool place when you get off the interstate. You just you, you really just curve off, and there's seven or eight rafting companies right there. And then you take that first left, and and Rip Roaring is there on the left, and uh, plenty of room. They got a big school bus. It's hand painted, and it's got Rip Roaring Adventures on it. And they put the you've seen it. They put the the rafts on top, and then they drive up the river, and they, they let you out, and then they come back down. And um, I think I want to do it. They, they yeah, I tell you. And they, now they've added video, and they put video out on their website and on their Facebook page, and you can watch actual video of the of their of their of them going down the river. And then you know, you as a group, if I have five or six with me, I can buy this video, and and it's a cool thing, and it automatically goes on social media under your name. And uh, it's it's a slow motion. It's, a, it's very good editing. It's it's really a, a game changer in that business to me. And he's the only one that's got it. Yeah. And if you're in this area, if you're in the Tri Cities area, it's it's a it's probably an hour and a half, maybe at the most, down there. Um, you you take 40 east, like he said, and you go to exit 447. I think 435 or 436 is the first exit. Uh, that you that you go before you hit and you go into actually Cock County at Newport and it's right when you know you'll see the Smokies they're they're all over the place down there and it's a and you know the Pigeon River you know when you go into the Smokies I've been doing it forever it's just for it just a it's a great river and I can't say enough and I know I'm probably speaking too much here. I see you when I get I that want, big I, grin I know that I've, I've I've used up my time I just want to note if you've helped a guy through Century Twenty One. <laughs> And he has. So. <laughs> That's right. Customer well, I, service. I, I can't say enough about them. They're yeah. great. I mean, they'll do great in their business, and they they, they give the personal touch. As you I'll did. put it that way. As you did. So, well, yeah. I mean, they've worked with but, us since February. That's that's customer service. So just take it. Hit the bell. Take it. There you, there you go. <laughs> M- muted bell. No, it's on the cord. Oh, that was up, was it? No. There you go. I'll see you next week. Yes. Yes. Should be. I'm you, yeah. <laughs> What is next week? Uh, it's July. Yes. It'll be next Thursday, which comes after Wednesday, as you told me earlier. So. Yes. And the Big Orange Caravan is Tuesday, and that comes after Monday. Yes. So, and happy birthday to, we're going to take a break, come back and finish it up. Happy birthday to Rocky Balboa, Sylvester Stallone, 71 today. Is he really? And W's having a birthday. George W. Bush, 71 today, former president. And I've just looked at some of his paintings. You know, they're pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I have to give George, I don't know if you've ever seen the video of him throwing out the first pitch at Yankee Stadium. The first pitch after nine eleven. After nine eleven, that's an awesome video of yes. him, and you can really see his personality come out. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm with you, hundred percent, big dog. Great job. Thanks for putting this guy again. Check him out, raftingtennessee.com. Raftingtennessee.com. And then the phone number is one eight hundred four four nine raft R A F T. And you can like him on Facebook, <laughs> Rip Roaring Adventures. <laughs> and like and like, like him on Facebook. And maybe we can connect him. Uh, Someone get Jeremiah to connect him to my Facebook page. I think I think you can do that, or sure you certainly can. the website. So 
Uh, he's a West Virginia boy down here now. I like it. 1-800-449-RAFT or raftingtennessee.com. We'll take a quick break. Great job. We'll see you next week. Thank you, sir. Yep. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. We're live with Champion <laughs> Chevrolet on the Top Taylor Sports Show. At American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the eight areas of your vehicle that takes constant continuing education is the air conditioner on your vehicle. Well, you would think that AC would be a simple one, but it's getting to be uh, a lot bigger than just AC. It's it's the management of the system, not just AC, but heat and everything. It's a lot more computer controlled than it used to be. It used to be just a little button on the dash that you pushed. Now there's all kinds of electronics involved in that. Braking systems it used to be fairly simple. Now some of the newer vehicles, you have to have a computer to actually operate the braking system to make sure that it's okay after you've worked on it. Computer control in the, of the engine is becoming very important. There's a lot to that. Each one of these areas, are, the, the technology has just tripled and quadrupled in the last few years. It's hard to keep up. You really need to stay in the books and know what's going on with them. American Import and Auto Repair, Johnson City, open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best and broad-spectrum sun protection. Blue Lizard, the brand most recommended by pediatricians and dermatologists. Our smart bottle turns blue in the presence of UV rays, reminding you to cover up. You bring the sun, Blue Lizard brings the magic. It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call and we'll begin right away to help you. We assist you in moving the vehicle to a certified repair shop, getting you set up with rental car, and informing your agent. Then here the staff at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance, we follow the claim through to the end. It's that easy. One and done. We're your one and done location for all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, commercial, workers' comp, and bonds. We can help you with all your insurance needs. Give me a call today, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance at 247-5400, your one and done location in Kingsport, 247-5400. Hi, I'm Rob Cole with Bays Mountain Park. There's something for everyone at Bays Mountain Park. Whether you're an outdoor enthusiast or simply looking to get away and relax, Bays Mountain Park in Kingsport, Tennessee is the perfect destination. For only $4 per vehicle, enjoy 3,500 acres of breathtaking scenery, featuring 40 miles of hiking trails, wildlife habitats, one of the southeast's premier planetariums, and much, much more. For more information, please visit www.baysmountain.com or call us at 423-229-9447. Bays Mountain Park, one of the Tri-City's best places for learning, leisure, and recreation. Back on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Thanks for being with us. You get your grip. Back on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Thanks for being with us. Again, thanks. to Check it out. RaftingTennessee.com or 1-800-449-RAFT. And check it out for yourself and see how things go uh, with that because it sounds like it's a lot of fun. Again, we'll be live tomorrow at Food City on the state of Franklin in Johnson City. And, again, we want to remind you, again, Arctic Coolers teamed up with Food City. Love this. Paralyzed Veterans of America, Richard Petty. Of course, that's his big uh, push, and uh, he's involved in that as the ambassador for this organization. Now through August the 1st, when you shop at Food City, any of the 134 food cities, all you have to do is add a buck or $3 or $5 to your uh, shopping total, 
and that money will go 100% to the paralyzed veterans of America. Imagine if everybody between now and August, between now and August the 5th, rather, that shopped at over 134 food cities in four states, if everybody just gave a buck, every time you went in to buy anything, milk, or if you have a buggy full, you went to buy milk, or whatever you buy, you just add a dollar. Uh, imagine the impact for these paralyzed veterans of America. And again, 100% of the donations will go to the ABLE campaign, A-B-L-E, which is dedicated to create an America where our most severely injured heroes have access to what they've earned and deserve. Care, jobs, and benefits. And again, Steve Smith says over the past six years, we've raised more than $800,000 to benefit the paralyzed veterans of America. And so we'll be there tomorrow talking about that. We'll be at Food City in the state of Franklin, the new one here in North Johnson City with uh, our dear friend Derek Atkinson and all the good folks there. So uh, we would encourage you to, when you shop Food City, I mean, you can give one or three or five dollars. And of course, they'd like to have five every time, and I don't blame them because it all goes back to the veterans 100%. Uh, Food City is just a mechanism, of course, to, to collect the money, but uh, all the dollars will go to the paralyzed veterans. So at, at a dollar a pop, every time everybody shops there from now to August the 1st is a lot of money you can go into the kitty to help the paralyzed veterans of America. Hey, don't forget to go to Dollywood again uh, right here. Go to the website, TomDaylorSports.com backslash contest and register to win two one-day tickets to Dollywood. We'll give those away two weeks from tomorrow. Thanks to Jeremy Livesey and Mortgage Investors Group at JeremyLivesey.com. And again, uh, you can get in there and register. We've got four states already lined up. We've got folks from Tennessee, from Ohio, from North Carolina, and from West Virginia have qualified. And we appreciate that. TomTaylorSports.com backslash contest. First name, last name, your city you're uh, living in, and your email address. All we need, we do not pass it on. I want you to understand that. It does not go anywhere besides uh, once the contest is over, we shred them and they're gone. We don't pass them on. So you're not going to be hit with a bunch of telemarketers. So just understand that going forward. So uh, check it out and do that. And, it's again, we continue to add folks every day, and we appreciate that very, very much. So we've had a great run today. Uh, let's see, is Cletus back in here? He is, and he's by himself today, so he may not be able to get over here. We're probably just going to sign this thing off and roll on. So, again, reminding you, there's rebates on the tracks, the crews, and the Malibus went from 1500 up to $2,500 rebates starting today here at Champion Chevrolet. Also, the uh, 2017 Traverse LT models, uh, they're now 18% off right off the sticker. Again, all the Premier Impalas. There's only a few left, but all Premier Impalas are 25% off here at Champion Chevrolet. And, again, we tell you about the trucks, 15% off all the HD LT trucks here, Chevrolet trucks at Champion Chevrolet, and $11,000 off all the crew and double cab LT trucks, the all-star package. And so all that's available here, again, at Champion Chevrolet on the Bristol Motor Mile in Johnson City. And, again, uh, where you can go on the website, very easy, because I always bring it up and i got to look up on my – here at Champion Chevrolet, championjc.com. The phone number is 423-282-2121, championjc.com. We're out of time. We sincerely thank you for yours, and we'll rejoin you tomorrow. We'll be live at Food City on State of Franklin in North Johnson City. Again, thanks to our guests, Kevin Harmon, Joe Novotny from Rip Roaring Adventures, Carmichael from the Johnson City Parks and Rec, also J.T. Holloman from, oh, here he comes. Not too late. I was getting ready to sign off, but Cletus says, no, no, don't. And so, Kevin Harmon, thank you, my friend. Good job. All right, put them cans on. We got time. Kevin, or Cletus said, we got time. Yep, we always have time. Boom, there he is, Cletus Green. Thank you. Wait a minute, let me turn your microphone on because I want them to hear you always what? Say it again. I said we always have time for Tom. Thank you, sir. That's so kind of you. So, we've already told them who won the uh, car. Again, the car again goes to Stephen Latchford. From Whitesburg, Tennessee, I would dare say he was one happy camper. He was, and his wife had told me when they were standing there that, uh, that it was raining harder in Whitesburg than it was in Johnson City, and they started not to even come. And it was worth the trip, wasn't it? It was worth the trip. How many was up on the stage, 14, 15? 14. There was supposed to have been 15. They had one that didn't show. Didn't show, so yeah, so. which increased the odds of 1 in 14 chance. They all popped a can of Pepsi. Yep. And tell them how this worked. How, I mean, did, how did Steve one, win this one, one, one of them pours clear. I'm assuming Sierra missed. Uh, when they opened it and they pour it clear, the one that poured clear won the car. Wow. Cool stuff. That's all I had to do. Of course, I had to get qualified, but uh, I would think it would be a little nerve-wracking up there with 14 folks, and somebody's going to win that car. How far down the line of the process was he? Uh, I think he was 
about fourth. Because they lined him up as they picked him, I guess, through right. the qualifying. He, I think he was fourth, maybe fifth, somewhere. He was right there towards the the front few. Yeah. So the rest of the folks just kind of went, ah, but that's okay. <laughs> that's the chance you run by doing what you're doing. I, I think so. Food City, gave, I believe Food City gave them a $50 Food City card for their for their trouble. So they sure. got a little something out of it. Sure. They may have got something else that I wasn't aware of, but. There you go. It's all good. We're talking to our buddy Cletus Green, see on the screen, champion Chevrolet sales manager. Andy's away on assignment, so we got Cletus and Kristen's away on assignment. That's okay, but uh, before we get out of here, you got some great specials. I love talking about the Equinox. You said, don't tell them about that because we sold them all, but that's that's worth talking about because that tells you we've been moving the merchandise, so you're waiting on a new shipment of Equinox, but uh, those are all gone. We do that. have the all-new 2018 Equinox here, yeah. just the 17s. 17. Or, and the LTs, LTs and uh, LTZs and the 17s are gone. I've got a yeah. couple of LSs left. Uh, in the 17s, and then and I've got a good supply of 18s that have just gotten here. Uh, I've got a huge selection of traverses, uh, pickup trucks. There's not a lot I don't have. I've probably got more inventory than anybody within 250 miles of me. There you go. Or, or further, maybe. But. So tell me about the trucks. you got the Cruze, the Double Cabs, and also the HDs. Tell me about those right now. They are $11,000 off. The, uh, the half ton trucks, the crews, and the HD trucks are ten thousand. The LTs, H HD LT trucks are ten thousand dollars off. It'd probably help if I had you on the screen. My bad. So there's. Oh, no, I've got the face for radio no, without, a, without a camera. Me and you both. So there's our sales manager from Champion. So again, run down those trucks again. What you got going on? The half ton LT trucks in uh, double cab or crew cab are eleven thousand dollars off, and the three quarter ton. And one ton LT trucks are ten thousand dollars off. Mm, good stuff. And that doesn't on the on the heavy duty. This it doesn't matter if it's gas or diesel. Either or, yep. your choice: gas or diesel. The heavy duty trucks again. The LT trucks, fifteen percent off those. Eleven thousand dollars off all the crew and double cab LT trucks all star package uh, for a limited time, of course. You've also made a change on the Impalas. Tell me about those. Well, we've got the Premiers have twenty twenty five percent off on the Premier Impalas that I have, 2017s. Uh, they've got LTs and LSs as well, but the Premiers have the big money off of them. And that's what you want, saving yes. that money. Of course, Impala's a nameplate's been around for a long time in Chevrolet, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Many, many years. I remember folks back when I was a kid drove Impalas. Friends of the family drove Impalas. So uh, it's one of those long-standing nameplates of the Chevrolet brand. Also, you've got rebates went from fifteen hundred up to twenty five hundred dollars starting today. Tell us about that. On um, the Malibus, cruises, and tracks have all gained a thousand dollar in customer rebate. Uh, went from fifteen to twenty five hundred dollar in customer rebate. Now that doesn't include discounts. Uh, you know, we will surely do that as well. Yeah, that starts today. So it went from fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred dollar rebate. Boom today. So that's on all the tracks. The Cruise, and another one of those nameplates of Chevrolet for many years, the Malibu. So I wonder which one came first, the Malibu or the Impala? Do you, do you know? Uh, know? The Impala. Impala came first. The Malibu was in the 60s, Impalas we had in the 50s. In the 50s. And then when did the old Chevy Nova come along? Uh, well, they were Chevy 2s and mm -hmm. became Novas. Mm -hmm. six in the 60s? The yeah. 4s, I think it's when they 63 or 64. We had a Chevy 2 as a family growing up and moved it into a... Into the, into the Nova. So uh, all the rebates, again, tracks, crews, and Malibus going from 1500 to $2,500 starting today. Yes. Good stuff. So been a good start, too. We've had foot traffic here on a beautiful Thursday, and uh, a lot of folks, I would think, looking and racing the kids back to college here in a month or so, so maybe looking for a, a third vehicle or a different vehicle or a used vehicle for a, for a young person or even a new one. So you sell for kids going back to college more used or new uh we do both probably more used uh in the total of it but uh we've got new cars that start at right at twelve thousand dollars and i've got them that run to about a hundred and twelve thousand dollars and about anywhere in between mm -hmm. and last week you said you had about 150 used on the lot you still bought that uh right close to that yeah. and uh, over 700 new there you go so fast as they sell them they replenish them too so uh it's it's been a good year and there's a reason why you guys are the number one. I'm going to ask you that in closing. Is the number one Chevy dealer in the state between Mountain City and Memphis, or Memphis to Mountain City? 
What do you feel like you've been here a long time? What, what separates Champion from all the other Chevy dealers? Uh, opinion. Well, good management, mm -hmm. the good Lord, mm -hmm. and a lot of luck. There you go. We've got some of the best people working that I've mm -hmm. uh, worked with in 30 years in the car business, mm -hmm. and uh, we're very, very fortunate. They go the extra mile, and they care, right? Yes. You're not just a number and not just a body, but I know that first time when I bought mine, and I... I guess I got phone calls three or four weeks, even a month after I bought the car. Are you satisfied? Are you happy? And I'm thinking, wow, this is pretty cool. So they do care. You're not just going to sell you one and run you off the lot and see you later and check that. We've got another one on the old uh, total. I mean, you guys really care, and ladies care about these folks coming in here, don't you? Well, our staff have been in the business, and they stay in the business. We don't go through a lot. Most have been here for quite a while. Uh, you know, so we don't do a lot of changeover. Some places change over every six months, and we don't do a lot of changeover. Most of our people are here, and they've been here. If you haven't been here physically, and you're not, and we have a lot of folks watching in Ohio and West Virginia and that surrounding states, so you can start your process, as Kristen said last week, and you can wrap up and finish up our visit with this by going on the Internet at championjc.com. A lot of folks wheel and deal and shop and, and select and pick and do whatever by virtue of the Internet wherever they are, right? Yes. And uh, we can also, our Cadillac site is separate, so it's uh, championjccadillac.com. Mm -hmm. So they do sell Cadillac. We always talk Chevy, but they do have Cadillac, and they sell a ton of Cadillacs, too. So it's a two-way street. And, again, championjc.com. And then for the Cadillac side, it is? Champion JC Cadillac. There you go. Simple enough. Did you have a good fourth? We did. Did you have a good time up there at the Freedom Hall? We did. Yeah. We did. Pepsi, Pepsi and Food City did a phenomenal job setting that up. Uh, turned out great. I think the crowd, very few people left when it started raining, so I think everybody was having fun. Yep. Once you get wet, you're wet, so just stay there and enjoy it. Hang in there and enjoy it, right? Music was good too, wasn't it? Yes, it was. There you go. So, all right, I know you can go back over there flagging you, so thank you, my friend. And when does Andy, is he back next week? He's supposed to be back next week. Yeah. If not, you'll be So here. edit this to where I don't look better because he'll <laughs> want me on here instead of him. That's true. T tell the fans they need to welcome him back and act like they want him back. <laughs> Every time he's on, or every time we have somebody besides him, Tim will go, we don't need him anymore. We'll use Kristen. We'll use Cletus. So, But Andy will be back next week. And Cletus and Kristen, anybody, you're always welcome to come over here. Thank you, Tom. Give me some taters. All right. He's you a have a good right one. There. Yes, sir. Good man right there, our buddy Cletus Green. Appreciate him very much, the sales manager here at Champion Chevrolet. So now that's going to wrap it up. We're going to truck on. Again, we're out of time. We sincerely thank you for yours. We do want to say again thanks to our buddy, of course, uh, our good friend J.T. Holloman who came by earlier. Thank you for J.T. from the John City Police Department in uniform coming again to promote one more time the uh, Special Olympics Golf Tournament tomorrow at 12 o'clock at Elizabethan Golf Course. You can, again, check that out and be part of that tomorrow to help raise money for Special Olympics. They've already doubled what they're going to do for next year, from last year, uh, this year, which is awesome. And so we, in some small way, uh, are happy to be a part of that in a small way, of course, not the total way, but a small way of promoting that golf tournament at Elizabethan Golf Course at noon tomorrow with lunch provided by Chick-fil-A. So if you want to play golf, you can and do it for a great cause to help out these kids and Special Olympics tomorrow. And that'll be, again, shotgun start at 12 o'clock, lunch also at 12 noon, shotgun start at 1 o'clock, I'm sorry, eat at noon, and you play, begin at 1 o'clock tomorrow, Elizabethan Golf Course. A Special Olympic athlete will be there to hit the first ball to start the tournament, which is really neat. And, again, the cost is only 45 bucks a player or $180 per team. Prizes for first, second, and third place teams. Door prizes being given away, including tickets to the Bristol Night Race. Again, 44 days away is the Bass Pro Shop NRA Night Race. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. So, again, if you want to play at this point, just show up tomorrow at, uh, as we said, at noon at Elizabeth and Golf Course and get ready to enjoy some great golfing and doing it for a great cause tomorrow again at uh, at Elizabeth and Golf Course. Again, thanks to J.T. Holloman for coming promoting that. Also, Cletus Green, the sales manager here from Champion. Carmichael from the Johnson City Parks and Rec. Don't forget, the 70s band's going to be there tonight. Free concert at Wing Deer Park right up the road called the Model City Wrecking Crew. Obviously, they're from Kingsport and crank out some classic rock hits. They'll be there from 7 to 9 o'clock tonight's free concert right up the road here in Johnson City at Wing Deer Park in the amphitheater right there on the lake. It's going to be a lot of fun. And it's free. You can't beat that price. So thanks again, Carmichael, talking that up. Also, Kevin Harmon with our UT Sports Update. And, of course, Joe Novotny from Fayetteville, West Virginia, now in 
Dandridge, Tennessee, with Rip Roaring Adventures. Again, check out that website, raftingtennessee.com, or the 1-800-449-RAFT on your uh, telephone keypad. Check out the rafting possibilities, again, down around uh, on the Pigeon River on the Tennessee-North Carolina border there off of Interstate 40. And so thanks for Joe being with us as well. We're out of time. We sincerely thank you for yours. Show number 551 wrapping up. We'll be with you tomorrow at Food City and State of Franklin here in North Johnson City. Until then, for all the folks we told you, this is Tom Taylor telling you as always, win or lose, be a good sport. And thanks for giving us a watch and a listen right here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show, brought to you by the good folks, as you see right here, Grip Energy Drink, available at all 134 food cities across four states, and they're selling like hotcakes on these hot, muggy days here in July. We'll see you tomorrow at Food City. Until then, so long, everybody.